What it good be over here? It should be. It's your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. This is Military Crazy Raw. Drink champs. Happy hour. Make some noise! <laughs> now, this brother right here, <clears throat> they said, God is always on time. And I think right now, drink chance with all we've been through, we need to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> he is on time. <laughs> I've been medicine. trying to get him for years, bumping into each other, seeing each other. I've been telling him how much we wanted him on. Yeah. But I mean, it feels it feels so right right now. Uh, I've been going through his catalog, going through everything, and I, I just got to discover something, EF. And you know how I like to compare you know, artists to superheroes and things like that. I have a perfect superhero who I'm going to say, who I think he is in the comedian world. Because the way he delivers a story. I call him the Slick Rick of comedy. Mm. Nice. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's hard, a good right? one. I fuck I with that. I didn't see that coming. Rick of comedy. I fuck with that. How... He can tell a story on his Instagram stories. He can tell a story. Well, however he tells a story, I cannot... I've missed meetings because I'm in the middle of him telling this story. I'm like, <laughs> I can't, I can't walk away. Right, it's, like, right. it's, like, it's, like, it's like a good car crash. Like a car crash. You gotta, car crash see, you gotta right see it. You gotta see what happens. This man, countless movies. Count, uh, 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 actor, comedian, writer, producer. He, the man does it all. Renaissance man. Thank you. And he's still out here relevant. Still out here doing, had a special in 2022. God damn it. What? He, he's still outside. Come on, my <laughs> side outside. And he taught you motherfuckers how to be a player. Uh. And you motherfuckers didn't watch the movie <laughs> because you're out here not being players. <laughs> <laughs> in case you don't know what the fuck we talking about, it was the one, only Bill hey. 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 I, I'm I so amped. I'm so amped. I, I kid you not. Um, the way you put a story together, and the way when you put the people that's in the story, yes, sir. How you how you put? It's like it's like it's like scripted comedy, but it's just you talking. Yeah, it's 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 crazy how I've been able to get really good at that. Right. But my life is so colorful. Like right. you know, people sleep on all the connects. You know, I've been in the game uh, a yeah. long time. Right. I know everybody came right. up with mostly everybody that's right. made now. Right. People that stars now. Right. People don't remember Jay Z before he was Jay Z. Right. Right. Well, y'all saying you know Puff Daddy is love. I was there when he was just Sean. Right. You know, right. 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 like you know right. when he was. Doing Doing his thing, coming up with his with, with the bad boy entertainment and all that. Mm -hmm. Like they don't realize they wasn't in New York at that time. Right, right. So like when I flashback in my life and I be thinking like, yo, what about that? And I, I during COVID, it was nothing to do. Was Puff Daddy mm. stole your girl or what? Yeah, he right? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a true story. No, no, it's, a, it, it literally is a true story, right? <laughs> right. Do you want me to tell it? Yes, please. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 we, we want to tell it. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's literally the 1995 um, Video Music Awards. We in New York, the after party's in Bryant Park. And this is, this, by the way, this is the award show where Pac stepped to Nas. Yeah, it's cr this, this is when Bad Boy is beeping. Uh, oh, so it's this girl, bad. this so this is, by the way, I'm sorry to steal your story, but, but go ahead. this girl must have done something really <laughs> fucked up. For, go ahead, let me okay, okay, so cool, right? So it's a lot of tension in New York City. Uh -huh. And this is like when Snoop, mm. Snoop had the video when they stepped on New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody was going mm. crazy. So now backstage, this is when they had 
crews that were separated. Right. Like, ha, ah, ah, ha, they can't mix. Everybody's over here. The attention is real grimy. Right? Crazy. It was crazy. Right. You know, my little happy ass in right. the middle doing the little <laughs> video presentation and shit. Right. So I had met this real fly chick in New York at the time. Model. At a part of model joint, you uh -huh. know. You know cats always right. want a model joint, right. you know. Right. 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 Especially, especially when you start getting your paper right. 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 You right. got to have that arm strong, right. you feel right. me? Right. Right. So I had met this real bad little shorty at, the, at a party, and I was like, yo, you know, I'm doing the little MTV Awards in a couple weeks. You want to flow with me? She was like, yeah. Oh, mm. oh, to MTV? Uh. Chat. <laughs> so she comes, limoed out, pick her up in New York. We go, we get to the party. And I'm thinking in the back of my mind, it's going to be a great night, B. Because mm. <laughs> it's sexy. Uh -huh, I'm the uh -huh, man. Uh -huh. I got a baddie with me. Uh -huh, Life uh -huh. is good. So I come into Bryant Park, literally, right? Like walk in uh -huh. and... I'm coming, going towards the bar. I'm about to get her a drink and shit. Uh -huh. And around the corner come Puff uh -huh. with like ten niggas, like uh -huh. like they they and they 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 come around the corner and then Puff turn and he see me and I'm like yo, like I'm thinking like he getting ready to say what he was like yo, I've been waiting to see you. <laughs> and I was like me, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I be not you, <laughs> yo. <laughs> and I said oh you. <laughs> and she was like, why me? He was like, you know what you did? You know what's up? And I'm like, please tell me what's up because <laughs> you're messing up my date. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have a great night with this chick. <laughs> it's looking good. Now it's a complete 180, right? It is from the beginning of the bro, day. <laughs> bro, everything was going good till Puff came. <laughs> so Puff said, yo, you know what happened with my man? You got my man stuck up. I said, you a stick up chick? <laughs> <laughs> a model, model like, stick up yo, girls don't go together. Yo, but you know, this is before Cardi B, you know, okay. back then. <laughs> no, this is like early 95 when uh -huh. chicks was getting sticking up cats. Right. Like, you know, they fine. Right. And so they get you over there, get you drunk, and then they act like they don't know you getting robbed by their uh, people. Right, like, it's right. weird. Right. So anyway, cut, speed the story up. Puff is like, yo, you know what happened? I want my man to get his money back and get his chain back. And she was like, I ain't doing anything. I ain't doing anything. I don't know what you're talking about. He was like, on my life, you gonna get my man shit back tonight. And I was like, please get his man shit back. Because <laughs> I want my night to go good. good. Puff was like, B, this ain't what you want. I promise you, I promise you. This, this chick right here is a problem. And I was just like, God. Yeah. <laughs> Can the problem be tomorrow? Because I'm thinking we're going to have a good time. So I just said, you know what, man? This shit is way over my pay grade. Like, I'm not trying. I just met you at a party two weeks ago. Mm. Now you got me in some shit with my peoples that I'm already cool with over some other shit I ain't right. even do. I just walked into Bryant Park. I just left. Oh, wow. shit. Now, I haven't seen it yet. Where's this girl from? Do you remember? I can't tell you. Okay, you're figure it out. <laughs> Everybody, everybody wanna know who she is. She watching this, she gonna be like, oh, that was me. All right, so so what you drinking on? Let's just let's get what are you drinking on? Because we're gonna I'm having a uh, vodka. This you gonna have water. some vodka? But I got vodka, I got vodka. You got, you got vodka? Should I should I do vodka or yeah. Something? What should you doing? I, I, I do you some gonna vodka. do both. Do both. I, nah, because if I'm gonna do no, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do champagne. I'm gonna do champagne. Oh, you yeah, doing yeah, champagne? On the bottle? Yeah, thing. yeah, 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 yeah. Please, thank you. So, um, okay. Every time, I, I, uh, for the for the, as soon as we locked you in, I said, "Yo, we got people bellin' me." Immediately, people say, "How to be a player?" Yeah, is that something that? Cause you know, it's like it's like. The old hospital, right? Right. Like the, the, you, you don't, you don't, you literally don't want to see the old hospital as n nobody else, right? Because right. It's, and it's not that's not a disrespect to him. That is, but he actually, locked in that character so well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes, it, it, it reminded me from from young people to medium people. To, as soon as I said it, they, they said that. Is that something that that bothers you? Because you got you got no, tons of so many no, other movies. No, no, no. It's just oh. one of those, I think How to Be a Player is just one of those roles that right. every young male could relate to or right. wanted to be like that. Right. To have that moment where you got all the chicks and you got the fly crib and the right car and your right. life is good. Right. So that feeling is what I think people associate me with because right. the way I was able to deliver the role was like I made it fun to be a player. I wasn't an asshole about it, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. I, I was showing cats how many chicks I had in a day. Mm. Mm. I'm bringing my boys with mm. me. I got the nice whip, you know, mm -hmm. the little drop top joint. Mm. And and I'm I'm getting paper a little bit, you know mm. what I mean? So I think mm. just the whole sort of world of a player. And uh, I, I think at that time, we hadn't had that many guys that uh -huh. were doing that kind of a role and right. made it relatable. Right. Like you could see yourself right. in me, you know right. what I mean? Right. So I think 
Every day somebody bring up how to be a player. Yo, you uh, taught me how to get girls. Uh, Yo, B man, I mean, I was living through you when I was 14. Uh, now I'm 34. Like, it's a trip how movies lock you in. Right. Yeah. All right. So now we also want to get into this famous story. Right. Because I believe everyone speculated about this story. Everyone thought it happened. But the first time the confirmation that we ever got from a, a person that wasn't on the left side or the right side mm -hmm. was. With Jamie Foxx, LL Cool J. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, shit. So, only reason I told that story, right. Nori, honestly, because I seen Jamie tell one side. Okay. Then I seen L tell his side, and they left me out the middle. Mm. And they left a lot out. Right. And I'm like, okay, since they, I sat on the story for 20-some right. years, like, because right. it was hilarious right. at the time that this really truly happened. We had no social media. Mm -hmm. For people that are watching and listening, we are on the set of Any Given Sunday, 1998. Oh, were they method acting or this was like because you know like legit because, because, because later on in life you hear about these people that method act right right right, and, right. and for those that's not listening method acting is a person that locks in on this character and they never break the role they, they stick right, right. were they, 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 they both the kind of like really gassed up thinking they were football players well, see, everybody was gassed up. Everybody, okay, okay, okay. You know, I was gassed up too until right. I got hit, and then I was like, "Nah, I don't need my stunt double do that." That, that was that. That was that one hurt. But the reality of the movie was, it's it was the context was conflict of egos with right. these players, right? I was the all star, you know, sort of. Uh, Terrell Owens' character, mm -hmm. Deion Sanders. You know, I'm the wide out wide OBD. receiver, right? Boom, you got. LL, who's playing like the the tried and true veteran running back, right. fullback guy. Warren Sapp, Marlon, Marlon, Marlon Lynch type right. of shit, yeah. There you go. Then you get this new cat coming in, you know, your Terry Bridgewater or your, you got your maybe, I'm going to give you a dip, better example, maybe like uh, Lamar Jackson. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, you know. I, I had dinner with Mike Vick last night. Let's throw Mike Vick Let's in there. Let's just Mike Vick. Mike Vick in there. You know what I'm saying? Light floor out of college. So Mike Vick come in. He he he, he that dude. He changing the game. He's uh -huh. giving us a, another edge, and he not really tying into the vets. Right. He doing his own thing, so it's conflict. So that was the context. Mm -hmm. But during the movie, we are joking around. Right. This is how the shit really started getting kind of tight because you. You can't be a rapper hanging around comedians trying to snap. Mm. Right. You 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 you're not gonna keep right. snapping. You're right. not gonna right. lose. Right. You're gonna keep lose up. a couple rounds. Right. Right. So you know, and Todd is my man. You know, right. Todd. You know, he play we around too. We call him LLJ over here. Yeah, yeah okay. we scared we can't, him. We can't call him Todd. LL Cool J, the legend. The legend. LL Cool J, my man. Wrote his bomb. Lick your lips twice. Um, <laughs> He literally, you know, got a great sense of humor. He plays around and stuff. But then they jab and they jab and they jab and I'm like, yo, man, I'm like, Jamie, why you keep fucking with him like that? Like, yo, you just, you got him twice yesterday, but like, right. he's up. I'm telling you, that's my dude. He don't play like that. Right. Stop fucking with him. I'm just saying, do what you want to do, but right. I'm telling you, he ain't that one. Mm -hmm. Cool. So they keep boom, boom, boom. Ha, ha, ha. So now, they, so now we get into this race. This is in the movie mm -hmm. where... We're talking trash again about who's an athlete, who's a real athlete in here. Mm. I played basketball. I never played uh. football. So I was like, yo, I've been an athlete my whole life. Played baseball, played football. Never played, played baseball and basketball. Never played motherfucking football. I was too skinny. Mm. So this is, this is the line of crazy line, right? So Jamie was like, yo, um, so L, you ever play football? He was like, nah. I was I was I was on tour at 16, 17. You was coming to see me. Mm. So that, was, oh, so, that was a so, good one. Oh, so they had attention from the beginning. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. It was, okay. was, was popular. Right. Okay. So, so it was it because they characters. No, it was just fun. They, it was okay. fun in games. Okay. Like it was Cass, fun at first. Yeah, Cass <laughs> is like just poking the bear right, a little right, bit. It wasn't right, serious, right? right? So we all laugh, and you got all the real football players, and we all huddled around talking mm. shit. And uh, so Jamie was like, yo, was you a real athlete? He was like, he was like, what you mean? He was like, yo, like I played football. Like I really played football in Who, Texas. This is Jamie, Jamie saying that. And okay. he really did. Okay. Cool, cool right? Mm -hmm. So he was like, nah, I never, I, I was, I didn't play football. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I came in the game 14, 15. I was on tour. What was you doing in the eighth grade? Oh, pop, pop. Now they jabbing. Wow, right, right, wow. Right. Everybody, and you know we putting gas on it. Oh, say something else. <laughs> <laughs> so right. that was the beginning right. of the kind of like the, the, the friction. The, the friction, yeah. cool. So 
We thinking it's kind of chilled or not, but it wasn't. So now we're doing a scene, and technically in the scene, when you watch the movie, we really supposed to be bickering and shit. Mm -hmm. Coming off the field, mm -hmm. there's a bad play, and we... The funniest shit was he say a line, I say a line, Noy say a line, and then he say a line, and then I waiting on my line. Right. Bro, that never happened. Yeah, he never got that line. I, I never got to talk. Because <laughs> they just start fighting. Oh, right. Like it was like, say a line. Boom, 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 boom. And they're filming this. What? By the way, the scene is amazing. Yeah, yeah, no, the yeah. scene is amazing. <laughs> the scene is That's amazing. what I'm saying. So it. the craziest <laughs> shit is he does it in a way that you can't really tell if it's a... He hits it side of his helmet, though. So he's talking the line. He's saying this line. He's like... Boom, and you know that's it. We call that an ear hole. Like that's that's crazy because you it's like ee! cool. So Jamie's like, damn man, you ain't had to do that. Damn bro, what's up? Like what's what you ear hole me for? He's like, yo, yo, what you doing? But I'm in, I'm in my scene. I ain't, I ain't tripping. Like, like you know what I mean? QB. I'm acting. What you talking about? Be go ahead. Let's shoot this scene again. <laughs> and I'm like, yo man, you might want to buckle up because I feel I feel like it's a little more on it than that second scene. I was like, I, first of all, I'm never getting to my line. <laughs> it's never they never gonna get to my line because every time it, I'm about to talk, they, they pretty much throw you out. They gonna be out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so oh, shit. So mm. he takes his helmet off. Jamie's like, oh my God, bro. Yo, we got a fighting scene coming up. If that's what you wanna do, we can do that. But this shit here ain't got nothing to do with this scene. So I'm talking to to to, to L. I'm like, yo, man, what what we doing, y'all? Is it is something going on? You, we shooting an eighty million dollar movie right now, like like real I'll talk. Of a stone. Like let's like buckle up, like let's do this shit later. Let's shoot the scene, bro. Al Pacino. So you telling is, me they fought in front of Al Pacino? Bro, this is our close up. This is us coming off the field. There's let's, a million cameras. Let's make some noise for Jamie Fox and LL being the first Chris Rock and Will Smith. Yeah. Let's, let's, make, let's make some noise for that. Yes, I'm sorry. That's what he was. Right, right, right. Because, I mean, this is I forgot about that. This is some rich, embarrassing shit. So, and they it's some rich, embarrassing shit. You with me, right? So, here's the funny part about it. So, I push Jamie out the way. Jamie's hot. LL is like, yo, man, I'm cool, man. Why, why, we, why we tripping? Y'all y'all tripping, but I'm, I'm an actor. I'm doing my scene. I don't know why y'all tripping. I'm like, yo. Yo, yo, Al, chill, chill. So I talk, to, so I'm talking to Jamie. I'm like, Jamie, man, what are you going to do? Because we got to shoot the scene. He was like, yo, be on my eye, man. Whatever, whatever, uh -huh. whatever. I'm good. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. Todd does not have a helmet on. Uh -huh. Jamie does. So we go the third time. We go to do the take. Jamie just turns off. Boom. Uh -huh. Punch him in the face. Bust his lip, whatever. I said, oh, shit. Because now I know I'm never going to get my line. <laughs> so I'm like, Okay. <laughs> This shit right here done got out of hand. So now, I never, I see, I, you ever seen like a, remember the Hulk? Remember yeah. when, when, uh, <laughs> Lou Ferrigno Hulk, when, the original one? Whoa! Like, like, like LL Cool J turned into the Hulk. Like, he was so mad. And it just seemed like he was growing. I was like, this nigga is on steroids. So, he was like, did you hit me? Please tell me you did not hit me. His voice changed and everything. I was like, I hope you didn't hit that. And they broke it up. Everything he said on everything, on everything I love, ain't nothing you're gonna be able to do to stop what I'm, what's gonna happen to you. And we like, yo, 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 relax. Everybody calm down. It done got out of hand. He, what, what he did that was slick was he talked us out of it. He was like, nah, I'm good, man. Come on, y'all tripping, man. We doing an $85 million movie. Mm -hmm. Let's do what we gotta do. No problem. I'm, I'm gonna act. Right. Let's shoot the scene. Right. Oh, shit. So we go back across the field. We come back again. Action. He say something, I say something, he say something. Ty just snatches his helmet off, like just snatches it up. Boom! Knocked the boy, like, I mean, like, it looked like, like he got thrown by like a goddamn uh, a transformer or something. He was like, <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, shit. Uh. Jamie, boom, hits his head on this big thing. Everybody's going crazy. And they kept it rolling. <laughs> oh, I said, oh, nobody oh, yelled cut? Nobody yelled cut. <laughs> oh, shit. If you go back you and watch... You line right there. <laughs> if you go back and watch the movie, part of it is in the movie, then they cut to something else, and then right. you see Al Pacino. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Come on. Right. 
But that real part, right. that little that part was real. Right. Now we didn't have back then, you know, obviously social media and it would have went crazy, but we had about five thousand people in that in that stadium watching it live and they mm. saw what happened. Then it got crazy. I'm not going to eat up your whole show. No, no, we, but, we in. That's why you're here, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what, what, what was really, really unfortunate was that the guys got into it, but the comedy to me was the after party or the afterwards, right? Uh. So Jamie cuts his tongue he has to go to the hospital. He's got to get like 16 stitches or something in his tongue because he bit down on his tongue, blah, blah, blah. So he's going to the hospital. LL goes to his trailer and shit, and it's tight. Bro, we can't film right now because we don't know what's going on with Jamie when he comes back mm -hmm. from the hospital. The tension is crazy. Now, here's the funny part. My trailer is here. LL's trailer here, Jamie's here. I'm in the middle. So everything is going past my trailer window every few minutes. And it's all like, yo, what it is? It is what it is. It's going down. I'm like, oh my God. And cats is on their phones. We in Miami. We right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring them all. Yeah. I want the whole crew down here. <laughs> You, you oh, already know. On an $85 million Yo, I bill. Want the whole crew here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In 24 hours, it was motherfuckers coming down on South Beach and Timberland Boots and Yankee Hats. <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> it was so many New York cats in the parking lot. It was crazy, bro. Like, they, with a leather jacket on. With a leather jacket on. And it's 90 degrees. And they... <laughs> mean mugging. Yo, they mean mugging. They got the production people shook. I don't know who LL called, but it was... 85 motherfuckers uh -huh. in, outside his trailer the next day. It was deep. I was like, oh, this is bad, bad. And then Jamie had like, you know, TGT. They was like little R&B cats. He only had like three or four cats. He had an R&B yeah, group with yeah, him? Yeah, no, no, I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, you, you I'm like, wait a minute. It was like, it was, it was like the funny yeah. shit was you got all these real New York goons. But, but he didn't have his friend Breon with him? He, was Breon there? No, Breon wasn't there at the Breon time. Breon wasn't but, there, okay. Uh, Dave Brown. Okay. It was a couple other. But the, but the contrast of power <laughs> was shifted. Right. You had the entire, all right. of Queens, right. Brooklyn, whatever, right. 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 here, right. Right. and then you had, like, right. Jamie right. and his right. manager and a few right. guys. So Jamie got security now. Yeah. Oh, now he does. Yeah, 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 he got his way. Things done changed. Things are changed. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying at that time, I was like, yo, what we going to do? Like, is it going to be, like, more shit? Right. So we wasn't, we wasn't filming. Right. Nobody was filming, and nobody knew. Agents is on the phone. It's mm. bad. The person who saved the day was Jim Brown. Good old Jim Brown. Mm. Old head, Jim Brown, uh, OG. Thought he was in the civil rights meeting. What the fuck going on? <laughs> he thought he was in the civil rights <laughs> meeting, right? <laughs> he came in. What the fuck going on? They come to my trailer. Hey, Bill. Boom, 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 boom. What the fuck going on? I'm, I'm not going to lie, Bill. The way that you're in the middle of the story, I kind of feel like you gassed it off. <laughs> No, I'm not. It kind of, and the way that Jim Brown went to your trailer. No, no. You sure you didn't gas it up a little bit? Like it no, because Jim Brown came to me because he don't know them like that. Oh, okay, okay. So Jim Brown is like a right. OG for me on yeah. a personal tip. Of course, of course. So he, OG he come, for all of us. So he come to me, he's like, yo, Bill, what the fuck going on? Mm -hmm. We got all these motherfuckers here. How did he find out, though? But nobody was working. Mm. Uh. It, it was just shut down. The set was shut down for a second or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So he comes to me. And he was like, ain't no motherfucking way we not going to do this movie. This, mm. is a, this movie is important, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. So now he calls a meeting like he bringing the Crips and the Bloods together mm -hmm. in my trailer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not bullshitting. We, they had the fucking shit in my trailer. Mm. I want to get... You're the neutral zone. So I'm sitting there and they try to talk it out, blah, blah, blah. He's orchestrating and telling... Now, Ellis would it, Jamie is not. Jamie, Jamie wasn't with it. He right. wasn't with it. I mean, he would. Why would he be? You know what I mean? Right. At that moment or whatever. So Jim Brown somehow figured out a way to talk to them, to figure it out, then go back and talk to people, and then we start filming again. But without Jim Brown, I don't know what would have happened mm. because he just gave us some type of clarity. You know what I'm saying? From 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 an OG side, you know, mm -hmm. he made it seem like you know basically it was stupid that we would be fighting or. Uh, disrupting an $80 million movie, black men getting a chance to do something together, right. and we out here fighting. We look crazy. Because right. we did look crazy right. at the end of the day. Right. But they end up fixing it. But it, it was it was really crazy. Because only like uh, at that time, Jim Brown or Bill Cosby could have squashed the beef. <laughs>
<laughs> but we talking, this is 1998. That's what I'm saying. Going and, into 99 yeah. here in Miami. Shout out to Miami, by but, the way. But you being a, a, a raw comedian, how did you feel about like Bill Cosby? Because Bill Cosby was the comedian that was... Uh, that made it, but when he made it, it seemed like he started critiquing everybody that was raw. Yeah. Um, how was that finding, knowing that, and then finding out the life that Bill was living, or you already know? No, it, I didn't know that. I mean, okay. coming in the game, uh, for me, Bill Cosby was one of my, he's on my wall of, like, inspired comedians that made me want to be a comic, right? right. Like, watching him, his his career, watching him tell stories, that's how I got good at telling stories, watching guys like him wanting to be a comic, then you can be a TV star and you can do movies. He sort of set that blueprint up for us, right? right. Um, but he was a clean comic, though. Yeah. I'm not knocking his hustle. He got on Eddie Murphy back in the day for being right. raw, but everybody lane different. It doesn't mean that, you know... I'm less of a comedian because I'm raw and you not. Like, we both achieving laughter, then it works. Right. Like, Dave Chappelle ain't, like, a dirty comic, but he uses, you know, flavor words. But, like, right. he's not a dirty comic. I mean, Eddie Murphy was more edgier than, you know, a Dave or a Kevin Hart yeah. at that time. But so, it's, a, it's a different time. Yeah. So, so, you so, could, so, you could be raw. So, to then. people to, to people right now, although you're saying uh, what you just said about Dave, to people now, Dave is raw. Yeah. He is, is, is that. But let's let's go to Bill Cosby. Let's okay. Oh. Oh, you're getting right to it. Yeah. Uh, because, well, I was, you know, when I started hearing about it. Our, our blackness at, at times protect our people. And we yeah. say, man, that ain't true. Like, you told a story about Mike Tyson one time. Yeah. Um, and... It was it was a booty call. You described it, right? Did you, did you think that like that's some bullshit? No, like, I thought it was. Bill I thought, it, I, thought I, I didn't want to believe anything of like that. I, it wasn't until Hannibal Barris did they 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 leaked they leaked a a, a clip of, of something he said on stage, and then it started buzzing that's around L.A. It so off, it started yeah. buzzing. So yeah. I was like, yo, what? Right. I was like, yo, I don't make no sense. Like, why would Hannibal say that? Mm. I, but it was a clip of a whole set, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, nah, I, I kind of was like, nah, that can't be possible, whatever, whatever, right? And so then other stuff started coming up, and then I was like, damn, that's that's more than three people. You seen the documentary? Yeah, the documentary was tough. Ah, yeah, it was tough. Oh. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's all I know. Yeah, it's all it was I know. tough. But see, I wasn't, honestly, I never did the Cosby show. I never got a chance to do a different world or any of those shows back in the day, so I never saw anything. I never but got they, a chance they, to even they meet Mister. They claim Cosby. they never saw it. The no, people, maybe, the they the maybe they did. Maybe they did. Like he had a separate life. Maybe like he, he, maybe he just had. He was insulated away. Right. I don't know, but I'm saying like for me as a comic, when I was coming up in the game, I never got a chance to meet Mister. Cosby. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was my idol coming up in the game. I was like, yo, I want to get on TV. I want to do my own show. He was writing, producing. I mean, he did everything the right way. Right. You know what I mean? So I was like, yo, Bill Cosby. You know, oh man, he's he's the blueprint for how the brothers can move, right? Make so, me like Jello Bullet, right? <laughs> but what I'm saying, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it, 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 it it was a lot of stuff that came out that you just go wow you just never know in this game yeah. in, in, in the business you just yeah. never fucking know what's going to happen or people who they truly are you know right. the documentary the first time I watched it I was like I'm still up in the edge the second time and the third time I watched it three times I was like damn his nigga's guilty and you know <laughs> <laughs> and, and my good friend Chris Spencer you know um, yeah um, I love Chris yeah Chris Spencer so he called me he said yo I actually know some other woman and it was just like Wow, because it's so far fetched, especially of us being a black man, and then all of his his accusers at first were white women. Right? It's, it's just it's just it naturally didn't feel right. So, right. um, but then it, it, it was it, a few sisters in there. Too the sisters are coming out. Said, yeah, 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 he it discriminate. Was, when it comes to stuff like that, this is the thing I'm gonna say, and I'm not going, you know, mm -hmm. dog anybody. Mm -hmm. The thing about men is we never get cleaned up. Mm. When if, the, if we get accused of something, it's on you. Like they don't right. come back and go, "Oh my bad." Guess what? You never did anything. Right. They just throw a title on you, and you get stuck with it. And you hopefully your lawyers and your PR people can kind of get you back on point, right? right. But in a situation like an accusation about that, that's a tough stain on a man. Mm. So I don't jump out on the curb on that real mm. fast. I gotta wait and see because right. I pray. I always pray that it's not true. Right. Right. 
I always pray, right. like, yo, please tell me my man ain't do that. But not with Harvey Weinstein. You knew he no, did I that. knew he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he was ridiculous. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, uh, Jeffrey Epstein, like, Ugh. certain things you just, it's just so bananas. Don't tell so me you've been in a party with Jeffrey no, Epstein. No, 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 okay. no. But I'm saying, like. <laughs> What's that story? <laughs> but, like, Jeffrey <laughs> Epstein's situation yeah. uh, was so bananas, and it was such a, almost like a, a business of a sort of how many people was involved and right. how they was layers doing. To it. And it was so many layers yeah. of power. Yeah. You can see how he was living within that world. And he was basically like, felt like he was extorting everybody so you wouldn't tell. Right. So everybody, he was like, oh my God, oh my God. But it came to an end, right? right. And so- it We did think- very, very she's much. She's still around, and yeah, she, she, they haven't. She still. They she, have the list, and they haven't released. It. Hey, they're <laughs> yeah. not gonna release no list because right. it'd be too many people. But in a situation like Mr. Cosby, who, in my opinion, um, his legacy, you know, to me was unbelievable right. to get accused, and finally they said he was not guilty of that. Uh, uh, who, who? Of at the end, he got out of jail. Yeah, blah blah blah. But still, oh no, he ain't get out of jail because he's not guilty. He got out of jail because of technicalities. Let's but you know clear. what I'm saying. Let's be clear. I got to be on point. Right, right, Kanye right. shit. I got to be <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Every since this Kanye <laughs> shit, I got to be yo, yo. yo. <laughs> I've been, I've been waiting to tell you this shit. I <laughs> you never. You notice how I looked at the camera? Listen, I was like, "Hey guys, like Nori, <laughs> hold it down." I've now. never seen Nori voice at room temperature <laughs> yo, after that Kanye yo, shit. Yo, I got you came on, now, yo, you man. came on the Breakfast now. Club. You was like, "Guys, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love drink chats. <laughs> I had no idea, <laughs> and." Honestly, I was I was mystified myself. <laughs> Sounds like me. Yo, we sound corporate as hell. Nah. But that, yo, I, <laughs> hey, bro, hey, I love Kanye too, but you know, you just never know what Ye gonna do. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's get yeah, back different. to that. Let's get back to that. Let's get back to because we already on another controversy. Okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kigo, you like so, to stay. You like so, to stay so, in the yeah, shit. So, 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 Bill, so. You the first time you heard it, you knew you didn't know Bill. You didn't, but mm-hmm. then, but, um, what's his, what's the what comedian's name? What? Uh, Hannibal Barris. Yeah, Hannibal, and Hannibal then Barris. Hannibal Barris started. That's you said you started to hear these stories. Yeah, and that's then, the first time I heard it. Okay, was when he that's was saying kind of like when it went viral. Yeah, that, like that, I that, never, that I had never heard stuff. anything weird like that mm-hmm. until I just heard it in a skit, and I was right. like, damn, why would Hannibal say something like that? That's so bizarre. And then right after that, it just right. kept. It felt like it was like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That's how. That's like I was the machine. He turned on because for that. because like I never seen the effects of of Bill Cosby other than seeing him on t- television. Right. So, but you as a comedian, you you know that. Um, I've know I know the effects of of DMX of 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 a Tupac. I, even though I never met Tupac and uh, of Mike Tyson, and when I heard them accused of the same thing, I was like, it was no way possible. So, you be in the in the in the, in the comedy world. And especially controversy back then. Controversy back then, you couldn't really. You ain't have a. Y'all ain't have a Twitter. Yeah, y'all ain't no, have no Instagram. social media at all. Is, was, did you think it was a setup, or you you knew? I just didn't understand why all of a sudden, um, you know, Mr. Cosby was going through a tough time. I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, man, he been clean his whole life. Right. You know, Mr. He almost played it perfect. You know right. what I mean? Right. Um, and there's like, the conspiracies around him buying the network and right. stuff like that. It almost seemed like, to be honest with you, it was like once he was about to buy NBC, right. everything went wrong. Right. But you when know? they went back to the footage of him and Larry King, mm-hmm. that's when I lost it. What, 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 what they were like, you, you, ain't, you ain't got the Spanish fly? They was like, yeah, Spanish fly. Two old niggas talking about Spanish fly. You know they were out of line. You ain't see <laughs> Oh, they were like, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, you, you I, never, oh, I yeah. never knew what yeah. Spanish fly yeah. was, but I heard about yeah, it. Yeah. It, was, and that, it used to be a thing. They, they said back in the day, you know, in them 70s parties and stuff, yeah. that guys used to do that, and they used to do the Quaaludes. Quaaludes, too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, part of me wants to do a Quaalude. I'm just throwing it out there. Just throw it out there. You're still thinking I'm, about it. I'm just it. thinking about it, because it's like <laughs> Scarface and them niggas had a great time. He's like, take another Quaalude and call me in the morning. I was like, what the fuck is a Quaalude? Yo, I never really figured that out. That was you had a Quaalude, seven. you out from out here. Yeah, yeah, you better, no you gotta relax. You had a Quaalude. <laughs> <laughs> He like I ain't never had no Listen, quail. You had the shit from out here that I didn't have. Yeah, I know. I might have had a quail. Might have had know. It, yeah, hey man, it happens, man. All right, is it time? Is it time a quick time or slide? Let's, let's give him his flowers. Oh, let's give him his flowers. That's right. Our show is about giving people their flowers. Okay. And like I said, 
I studied you and I said, wow, you are really the slick rig of comedy. Thank like you. the way you could start a story and just then remind us in the middle how what the story is going, and at the end, just bring us all in. I had never and 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 you deserve your flowers. We want to give it to you face to face. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh man, I got my gold. Yes. Oh. Snoop said Snoop said it's like give, give, winning the yeah. Grammy. Because it's from your own people. It's from your own people. And they so, won't die, like your career won't thank die. You. Yeah, that's hey, right. man, that's I'm, right. I'm, I'm super, I'm super honored because, like, uh, you know, comedy is to me is is a gift. You know, you just mm-hmm. never know how it will go, right? right. You right. just do it from the heart. Like I've always just wanted to be funny for people. Right. You know what I mean? And I think what happened was during COVID. When nobody was moving and I was working on my book mm-hmm. and writing uh, different chapters, I start remembering stuff and I just start telling stories on mm-hmm. Instagram in my car. Mm-hmm. And them shits went bananas. Like yeah. people was like, yo, your stories is like right. movies. I you remember were- the first one I saw was Bull Buster Rhymes. You described oh, yeah, with Buster somebody Bum. tried to be on stage with Buster Rhymes. And it was Coolio. Oh, Coolio. And he got body. Oh, rest God. in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Rest right. in peace to let's, Coolio. Let's be careful. Yeah, let's be careful. <laughs> let's be we gotta be, yeah, 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 yeah. You on skates right <laughs> now. Yo, he on probation last Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 and you know Nori wow that a motherfucker say whatever. Lately he been like, hey guys, uh, it's up to you. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, uh, it's true. That is strictly your opinion. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're not cutting your legs off, no, We love no. you, man. Okay, so look, check it. So, is it time? A quick time to stop? Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so we got a game. Can you explain it? We fuck it up every time. I'm, I'm this is the easiest up. game. No. Basically, no like, drinking. No, though. Fans, can I have a cocktail? Yes, yeah, please. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. But fans oh, been damn. no. They they hate us for it. Yo, no, no, no. They've they been hating me Switch saying how much I fuck up the rules. It's like yo, you just can't say the rules straight. Can you? Huh. Uh, it's multiple choice. You get two two names or two things. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pick one or the other. Mm-hmm. Right. If you don't pick any, it's the political answer. We drinking. That's it. Okay. So if you pick shot. one, we good. All right. You pick got, none, you, you pick both, glass? we drinking. Oh, shit. All of us are drinking yeah. a shot. But we, we drink oh, we with you. Shots. We don't leave you out there. Oh, you yeah. won't leave me out there. All right. Yeah, we won't leave you out yeah, there. No, we, we drinking with you. We drinking. How yeah. many rounds? Uh, yo, what's this? this? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> you could be, be like Jeezy. I don't know. Jeezy answered every single one. Yeah, Jeezy, yeah, yeah. But I don't know why we call it quick time or slime, because ain't nothing Never been quick about this. Except with Jeezy. Except with Jeezy, okay. Where's the shot? Okay, yeah, yeah. Whatever you want to. You could do tequila. You could have some Dominican Mama Juana. I don't recommend that. I don't recommend that. They make that in the bathtub in Kendall. Okay. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. So where's the tequila? I'll take some vodka. I'll take some vodka. Tequila, this is a rock made by a black man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's. I want to support. Made by a black man, goddammit. Make some noise for that. Make some noise for that, goddammit. And, and he, he stole your girl at one point. Yeah, so yeah, you gotta, yeah. I, you gotta I, I just, drink to that. You just, you just no, gotta he call. actually saved me. He actually. saved me, yeah, because she was a life. setup queen. She yeah. was a setup. She was a trap <laughs> queen. <laughs> he stole her. She, Freddie, no, he, he, he got that girl somewhere right he now. He saved me some yeah. money. She's a trap queen. Okay. Yeah, I do. Oh, this this first one. Okay, y'all on fire. Y'all trying to get him to drink immediately. Oh, But remember, if you say both... So I it's drink. either one or, or the other, or if you don't say nothing, you drink. Or, or, no, if, you, or if you say, if you say both. both or neither, we drink. Because you got respect for both. We want of them. you to pick one. If you yeah. pick one, nobody drinks. Okay. Yeah, and, we're, and we're trying to set you up. By the way, absolutely. I, yeah. By the way, I I don't make these questions. This guy from Colombia and this Dominican guy right here. They put what's, it together. What's his name? Uh, uh, Hazardous and Mr. Lee. Yeah. So they oh, sit oh, here. They, they, oh, okay. they watch you. Okay. I see. Uh, this is right. how they do. They sit here. They watch you, and then they come up with these. questions. And it's whatever criteria in your mind is why you pick it. Why you pick it? All right. All right. I feel like we explained that simple this time, so the fans won't kill me. Uh, like your story. Story. Stop uh, explaining the game. You confuse we, us. We make it like an algebra thing. We're yeah. like, well, you know, you stuck with this, and maybe if you say that, yeah, you're making me nervous. <laughs> all right, all right, you ready? Okay, Richard Pryor or Eddie Murphy? Richard Pryor. Okay, you you want to explain why? Because Richard, Richard Pryor is the, is the true king of comedy for me. Period. Right. Eddie Murphy, right there. You know, right. you got Mike and you got Kobe. Mm, right there. Okay. Boom, bam. Mm. You like sports too. You, your sports analogies be crazy. Martin or Chris Rock? In which way though? See, that's, that's already sounded that's like a shot to, to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I mean, to me, that's wait, not, wait, 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 wait. You gotta explain was. it. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm and, tell and by the way, we're gonna let her pour the shots. Let me tell you okay. why. All right, cool. All right, okay. If we talking, we got Martin and we talking Chris Rock. Right. Martin got the most prolific sitcom I ever seen in ever, my life. Ever, ever, ever. So ever. I'm if we go What's on TV, if we go on TV, I gotta go Martin. Uh huh. Yes, you sound confused. I, I, I'm gonna drink it. Yeah. <laughs> but if you talk about stand up, right? I think Chris Rock's 
first stand up is one of well, I think I forget which one it was. I was thinking it was here in New York. Okay. It was bonkers. So like if we go on like stand up specials, like, that's one. But for TV, I'm gonna go Martin. Martin. That's something he's giving for get a drink. Like a shot. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, saying yeah. both. He's saying both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I got yeah, yeah, but that's how you know he feels. That's how you know my New York energy is rubbing off. You got, you got, you got your shot? Yeah, I, she got to oh. give me something. Oh, you, what, you, what, you, what you want, vodka or No, nah, I already tequila. know tequila. I already tequila? got vodka. All right, all right, all right. So um, he go, she go, and go tequila. Let's thank go. you, thank you. What's, okay. what's next? All right, you ready? Oh, this this. Yeah, you ready? Wait, hold up. I got to do the shot. First. Oh, let's do the shot. That's right, that's right. Thank you for being on point. Know the rules, And Lori. it's 420 right now. It's 420. That's it? On the dot. No, I'm talking about, yeah, it's 420. Oh, for real? Let's yeah. get it. Yeah. Thank you. You don't smoke. I don't, oh, oh, no, I don't smoke. Okay, cool. But I do so inhale I other people's smoke. Yeah. Cheers, 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 cheers. <laughs> okay, I want to take this one. Nas or Jay-Z? <sighs> Jay-Z. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, Nas' new album is hard, too. That shit is hard. I'm definitely getting it. Uh, I like this one. Kodak Black or 21 Savage? 21 Savage. Okay. I think he's going to be biased with this next one. Okay, you go. Rap City or Yo MTV Raps? Man, stop playing. Yo MTV Raps. Stop playing. <laughs> That is not debatable. <laughs> uh, shout, out, shout out to Ed Lover, Dr. Yes, Dre, and yes. Fab Five. Yes, Freddy. Legends, right. legends. Yeah, legendary. Robin Williams or George Carlin? Mm. <gasps> Those are legends right there. Get the shot ready. Uh, I'm going to go George Carlin. Woo. And rest in peace to both yeah, of them. Yeah, both but them. George Carlin was my guy. Like, that guy got me really wanting to be a stand up. Yeah, George Carlin. Yeah. Okay. Dave Chappelle or Kevin Hart? Man, I'm going to have to go with David. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love the story that you said. Dave came up to you and called you John Coltrane. Yeah, it's a true story. Because <laughs> <laughs> Dave is so smart. Like, right. people, people don't understand. Like, Dave didn't come out the hood. You know right. what I'm saying? He came he from two educated people. Uh -huh. Beautiful educators. He's very intelligent. And he yeah. takes his time. Right. And he has references that are bizarre. Right. And he smokes a lot of weed, right? <laughs> And even more cigarettes. Yeah, and even he smokes cigarettes yeah. like they candy. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. he don't even finish. Yeah. It's like, man, hold on. Yeah, I, can we, give me a light, please. <laughs> so this is a true story. So out of nowhere, one day, that's why I put it into a story because it was so bizarre. Radio City Music Hall. Radio City Music Hall. So Dave comes up to me, right? <laughs> he was like, "Hey, man, I'm gonna ask you a favor. Uh, I want you to go on stage." Now I literally just walked into the back of Radio City Music Hall. Trying to surprise him. Trying to surprise him for his birthday. And right. shit. So, because, you know, I got the text. I'm like, yo, I'm a... So he's like, man, this is going to be insane. <laughs> I'm like, what you need me to do? He said, just do two minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. It'll be fine. Chris is here. Jerry Seinfeld's here. It's going to be an extravaganza. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I my God. You, I, know, I, know, no, I, I can't make this shit up. So okay. I'm like, I don't know if you... As, as a rapper, mm. you know what I'm saying? As a DJ, like mm. if somebody puts you on the spot, can you spin right now? You don't have your records, you don't have your shit. Well, Fat and, Joe does it to me all the time. Yo, yo, can you do it right now? Uh -huh, yeah. So basically, he put me on the spot at Radio City. It's sold out. Mm. I'm like, oh my God. Like, I'm trying to figure out my jokes. Okay. All right, what I'm going to start with, what I'm going to do, and I'm trying to figure it out, right? So Dave was just watching me. He was like, man, listen. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be fine. <laughs> he hide than a motherfucker, bro. Right. And, and he's, would you like this? He was like, no, nah, I'm, like, I'm trying to gig my jokes. He was like, man, relax. <laughs> You're probably one of the most talented comedians. I promise you, man, I've seen everything. I've seen all of them. The greats. <laughs> and I'm going to say this to you. Before you go on stage... In my lifetime, you're John Coltrane. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, because, you know, John Coltrane was so epic. Right. And, then, and I was like, what do you mean? He was like, because John Coltrane, he had everything. Charisma, mm -hmm. had the ladies. Mm -hmm. He was cool. The guys liked him. And that's you, Bill Bellamy. And I'm sitting there like, oh, shit, about to get emotional and shit. <laughs> Two seconds later, Chris Tucker come around. <laughs> man, he told me the same shit, man. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Yo, we got to shout out Dave for mentioning us on his yo, SNL monologue. Yo, that was yo yeah, I saw that. Yo, that was huge, man. That was Dave. Huge. Dave is a good dude, man, and he loves the culture. He loves hip hop. Yeah. So he always he always finds ways yeah. to keep it in the in the pocket. I love it. So, uh, Jerry Springer, or J oh, excuse me, Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Your mind is in Jerry Springer right now. Man, the shots is hitting me right now. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld or Jim Carrey? Oh. I'm going to take a I'm, shot to it first. I'm going to go with Jim Carrey because Jim Carrey came out of In Living Color so incredible in his career. What he, the imprint is just, it's never been done before. Yeah. Like that part, I love both of them, but I just think the way Jim Carrey came in, only white guy on an all black cast and just Michael Jackson, his way up out mm. that thing. And that's an that's a L. That's a L. It, yeah. was, it was, it was, um, he was incredible. Are you with me? And his style yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's 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 that's such a physical style. Yeah, the yeah. physical yeah. comedy. Yeah. Yeah. So ridiculous. let me ask you something because, right, we had Wale sit there and um, I told Wale, was like, um, I never really got Seinfeld, but I love Kirby Enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Wale was like, yo, I suggest you watch it. The other day, I actually went, <clears throat> I'm on season five of Seinfeld. I watched it the whole shit going through it. And it's actually a show about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Like, it's really about, like, if you think about it, it's about these guys getting together in this restaurant and eating carbs. Because I don't know why I keep, like, everyone eats carbs in this restaurant. Right. Like, everyone <laughs> is just sandwiches and french fries. And it's just like, but it's brilliance in that. Yeah, but what I think what was brilliant about us, Jerry Seinfeld was to me and is, and he was on that show at Radio City Music Hall, oh, wow, and yeah. he killed. Mm. He's a real nah, comedian, bro. In front of a black and, audience, this is a black audience. Oh, I'm it, assuming, yo, it was a mix because okay. Dave, Dave, yeah, you Dave, know, he yeah, had yeah, that level. Yeah, His ticket's yeah, like four hundred, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's mixed. Uh -huh. You know, it's a few black people, but mm. it's you know. Mm. So, <laughs> but uh, no, mm. Jerry Seinfeld. What I like about Jerry is Jerry was able to take his comedy his premises and put them in a show and make a story around it that's right. what I liked about it right. you know what I mean and that's why he, everyone thinks their friends is dope but who could really make 400 million about hanging out with their friends bro oh. nobody <laughs> but like, Jerry Seinfeld just think, just think about it like every, no one's crew is gonna be like we're whack everyone's gonna be like you're the shit and think that you can do this but he's a guy if you think about the uh, essence of Seinfeld it's, it's about crazy. him and his four friends one of which was a girl that he dated and they figured they they're not compatible, but they're still going to be cool. Where does this happen in the world? Where does Nowhere. this happen? In Who the fuck has an Elaine? Nobody. <laughs> no one but Seinfeld. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional, guys. <laughs> but because this shit is brilliant to me, because I'm like, wow. And maybe that was his unique. Yeah, but that's that was his his sensibility. If you go, if you watch it again, and you just really think about, like, right. he he put us into his world of his right. friends and his sense of humor. Right. And when I seen him do that stand up, because I had never seen Jerry Seinfeld mm. do his stand up live, mm. Radio City Music Hall that night, he murdered for 25 minutes. Right. Everything he said was bananas, bro. Right. And I was like, and he's oh, not a come shit. up. Comedian. This is a guy who got bro, success. Yes. Listen yes. to me, bro. Yeah. Jerry Seinfeld ain't nothing to play with. You do not. It's a couple cats in this game that's veterans. If you they do a guest spot and you're not ready, you're gonna get body, bro. Right. I had uh George Wallace open, he came ran up, text me, yo B, you in Atlanta? I'm coming. I said, Oh shit. He walked in that motherfucker with a pad. He old school, yellow. Remember the yellow yeah. yellow, the yellow, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do five, seven, and eight. Right. Went on stage and tore the whole house down. And every joke was choo, choo, choo. So it's it's a, it's something to be said about that generation because they're very technical. Mm. Like I'm a part of the Dave Chappelle generation. Me, Dave, Martin, Steve Harvey, Def Comedy Jam. Like we, we all right, I'm gonna call us the Def Comedy Jam. All stars, right, right? right? We we're behind these cats, right. okay? But the cats that was a little that's a little older than us, they came from another school where it was structured and it's boom, boom, pow, mm. boom, boom, mm. pow. Like everything could be hitting. Bam. You don't mm. you'll never see a pro from that generation throw out a dud and it don't it'll be a bunch of empty space. Right. They I learned watching them that that oh, there's a rhythm to their comedy. It's a setup. 
jab, jab, boom, or it's a setup, boom, setup, boom. It's, you know, it's never like say something and people waiting for 30 fucking minutes to get the punchline. Those days don't happen with those guys. Mm -hmm. Now, some of the new comics got to learn that technique because we got the social media and stuff. Right. But if they were to go back and study the greats, the George Carlins, you know what I'm saying? Right. We talking, even Robin Williams, you know, okay, we talk cool. about, let's go back, Marsha Warfield, mm. like the classic, like, forget TV, mm. stand-up comedian. Paul Mooney? Mm -hmm. Man. Paul Mooney sit in Paul the chair. Mooney, you know what's crazy? Paul Mooney wouldn't exist in this time because Paul Mooney. Oh, they would. They couldn't even take Paul Mooney. Yeah, Paul Mooney hurt everybody's feelings, including black people. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like he would have been everybody. Like this, I don't. I don't. I honestly, I don't like where we are right now with comedy, right? Because this whole cancel. Is it comedy or cancel culture? Well, two things. Okay, I don't like cancel culture because mm -hmm. it is it's just un it just swinging left to right it's no it's no like specific right. if they don't like it oh it's like somebody that's always in their feelings cancel culture is like a person who's always in their feelings like to pe to me people on facebook is always in their feelings right. no matter what you post they be oh, you, oh my you god you don't go on twitter Huh? You don't go on Twitter? Well, Twitter, I, I throw it over there, but I don't know if Twitter has the same feeling as Facebook. Well, Twitter's my drug. You I, go on, I go on Twitter to feel great and feel the horrible Twitter's at the same the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, well, if I want to feel great, then somebody be like, what's nah. up, Legend? You a great dude. Yo, keep doing what you're doing. If I want to feel horrible, I still go to Twitter. I'll be like, yo, what's going on, y'all? And somebody be like, we don't care. Fuck you. You're like, why? Like, <laughs> What did I do to you, yeah, sir? Yeah, they just go yeah, so yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But but the cancel culture for comedians to me yeah. is is like a old school traditional mm. mindset trying to keep us conservative. Like, right. don't say that you're going to hurt the little people. Don't say that you're going to hate this community. Don't say that. Comedy is about taking the truth and flipping it. Like comedians, our job is to snatch reality, snatch observations, turn it around and bring it back to you in a funny way. Right. Why are we, so now we got a tiptoe, so you right. got a guy like me, you got a guy like Dave, we can't say a joke that we thought of that's so funny that might make people think about stuff in a different way. Right. You know, you got, you got a, uh, 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 Anything is sensitive. Like, I remember, I'm going to tell you the first instance I remember where shit got weird. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when Janet Jackson, the, the boom yep. bow? Yeah. Yep. I'd never forget that. Wonderful moment in history. I, it, I was happy. Mm -hmm. I never. I didn't see the malfunction. It was weird that it was outrage over it. I, I, it was outrage over uh, uh, the thing flipped now, right. right? Justin Timberlake went, whoa. Okay, whoa. So real quick, i never forget, I was on tour after the Janet Jackson malfunction, I went into a radio station and I had to sign a, 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 a release that I would not say anything that was inappropriate. Like prior to you getting on? You be before, and they made all the radio DJs. I never forget this shit because I was in Boston. I, I came in a radio station. They said, yo, Mr. Bellamy, everything is crazy around here right now. You know, the radio station is tight on us. We can't say, you can't use no bad language. You can't insinuate. You can't do this. You, can't, you got to sign this. You're going to be on your A game. I said, oh, snap. Because, right. you know, you could go on certain radio stations and get loose, and right. there's certain radio stations you couldn't. Right. But it was a mandate. I don't know if you remember this. I don't know yeah, what yeah. year that Super Bowl shit was. Right. It I, got I, tight. I, if you was in radio, right. it got tight. Right. That's what it is right now. It getting tight. Which is like, it went backwards because that's how it was in the early days of entertainment. Remember, you couldn't go in the Bible Belt and if you, you got arrested, if you said some profane shit, right. yeah. lose shit. So it's like we're going backwards. Yeah, right. but it's, 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 it's it, I feel like it's cycles. Mm. You know what I mean? I definitely feel like cycles, it's, for sure. it's definitely cyclical, right? Like it goes in, oh, now we're going to be uptight, then we're going to get loose again. Because if you think earlier we talked about Eddie Murphy, right. Eddie Murphy broke out the box being raw. Right. Like, think about it. Like, and I think that's what made him Eddie Murphy because he didn't give a fuck and he like did him. Right. And he became, he went from raw to delirious to the dub. That's why he became Eddie Murphy, right. Right? right? So there's a part of America that wants the raw. Right. In the leather suit too. Right. <laughs> and the with the suit. pinky ring. Yeah, yeah. On top of the leather glove. Mm -hmm. I never figured that out. Mm -hmm. But anyway, make a long story short. Keep it moving. 
right now in our culture, we have to make a decision on are we going to go for the truth of what it is and not care or be scared? I can't tell scared jokes. Right. Because now I'm tiptoeing. Right. Like to me, I, I, I love Dave Chappelle on this respect that I love Dave because he's always pushed the envelope. It's not like all of a sudden Dave is pushing the envelope. Mm -hmm. Why did the Dave Chappelle show become huge, right? Mm -hmm. So you want Dave Chappelle to stop being him and do something else? Right. He's doing what he's ordained to do. He's doing what his gift is given to him, and the people love it. Now, every joke might not hit right for you. You ain't gotta like, like every joke I do. Right. You ain't gotta like every story I tell, but right. maybe 80% of them is cool. Maybe one you ain't fucking with. So does that make me a bad guy or a right. bad comedian? No. Right. But it's social media that exacerbates all of that shit. Yeah. Because that's, that's, well, that's the only thing that I'm worried about, it being just a cycle, because in before the cycles would happen, but now social media empowers every single voice to be uh, a keyboard warrior. And I mean, I, I am conscious about what I say. Honestly, you know, watching, you know, like even with my boy Kevin Hart, like, you know, he went through a tough time. Like he he said a joke that was so long ago. It was like 14, 12, 13, 14 years ago. And they went back and tried to use a that's joke. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the that's thing. thing. But that's the thing that's horrible for comedians, right? Like, we do jokes, like, we playing around. That would be like me being in a dice game or kicking it with my boys, and I say a joke, and somebody film me and put it up on the, on the gram, and I'm joking with Nori having a good time, right. but it's only for us right, right yeah. here, right. and they put it on the yep. gram, I'm hit. Yep, that's the scary shit. That's the only part that I don't like. Like, it's like, oh, my God, they go back in your archives. Mm -hmm. Some shit I said when I didn't even know I was a comic. Bring it up now. Say, oh, so, are you, so you don't like alligators. I heard right. you say <laughs> It could be someone you said some crazy shit about alligators. <laughs> <laughs> someone that wasn't even alive back then going right. back. Don't even understand the context <laughs> of that period. That's what I'm saying. That, that's the only thing that's scary for us. Do you don't feel like that in, in music? Yeah, that's why I ain't making music no more. I feel like this right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you look <laughs> shook right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this right here. No, what, what what happened, what happened? Yeah, no, 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 no. Right, you go to the next one. The next one's on you. All right, go ahead. Let's see where we at. Where are we at? Yeah, because I don't agree with this one. You don't agree with it? Uh-uh. After Jerry Seinfeld and uh, okay. Jim Carrey. Bernie Mac or Red Fox? Two legends. <sighs> that's tough. My you, did, you did your job. Yeah, yeah my we, shot is ready. Yeah, I got a drink. I can't. Okay. Right. Your shot okay. is bananas. You get because those those are both my dudes. That's 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 legendary. That's a tie. Cheers. Cheers. I'm sorry to make this game even longer, but I me, think you like drinking. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but it made me. Think we all drink champs, right? It made, that's right. I but, mean, but let me think about it. I don't it see think, no water Fox, nowhere. Can Red Fox? Right, I'm black and Puerto Rican, right? But I remember the first time I ever heard like the word spick before mm. was watching Red Fox. Was it? Uh, yo, yo, Red, Archie Fox, Bunker show? Red Fox was no, triple no, X, bro. No, no, Red, like, I don't remember it being worse than Archie Bunker and listen, them. There was a guy named Raul. <laughs> oh, I remember Raul. <laughs> he used to come over to Red Fox house. He's like, You dirty Puerto Rican. And I was like, Whoa. <laughs> Eight years old at the time, seven years old. First time I ever been offended. Like, holy shit. You were offended? I, of course. Come on, bro. Only time. I got, <laughs> Why? Like, Why like, be offended? Like, because because no, but like I'm black the and Puerto Rican. Yo, and so, I grew up with black and Puerto Ricans of the worst kind. Right. So when I was when I was being black, I was too black for the Puerto Ricans. When I was being Puerto Rican, I was too Puerto Rican for the blacks. Right. <laughs> and, <laughs> And I remember, but me, but no one ever really like being that out front racist to me. <laughs> and then on um, Red Fox, I'm watching Red Fox, and Red Fox said, "Hey man, this dirty Puerto Rican." I said, "Oh, shit. that's hilarious." Yeah, it's hilarious. But 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 it it, it, it hit it hit but different. It, it also hurt me, but it hurt me to the extent that I get the joke. Right. I got the joke. This is. But when did you say? How old could you have been? We were all kids when that show was out. I don't know if it was a repeat or if it was live. Had to be. I don't yeah. remember. I don't but remember. But he was he was very. He we was probably wouldn't even understand something. But listen, Red Fox probably couldn't exist right now either. No, nah, nah, because he was he was bro. He was brutal. He was like Don Rickles. Yeah, right. like those like Don Rickles even right now. Uh, his style, how it 
reverent it is and how he hit every nationality. And, mm-hmm. But it was, to me, it was brilliant, right? right? He made fun of everybody. So you can't say, oh. That's why it can't be offensive. Right. When you see it for That's what it what is. That's what I think. Right. But then now, the one group would go, oh, like you you was hurt. Mm-hmm. But it's a million of y'all. So now yeah. on social media, y'all go crazy. Uh-huh. You took it to the chest a little bit. I was like, it I, tangled, I, yeah. I get it. I get, okay. I get what you're saying. But. Now with social media, it could become a zillion people that feel like you did and get really, really mad over a joke. Here's my thing. It's a joke, bro. Yeah. I'm right. not a I'm not a politician. This is not something that is like um like a law. This is like right. a moment of laughter, right? right? And if I say a little something a little crazy mm. in this moment, it's to make you laugh. Not now, malicious. No, nah, I'm not trying right. to hurt nobody's feelings. That's the thing. Like, I feel like comedians, we should get a pass. Right. Like, I feel like both of my grandfathers was racist, being honest. Like, of course they were. Everybody's <laughs> grandparents were racist. Everybody's parents was racist. Like, like, and they was racist against me, which was weird. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I was going to my black grandfather. He, 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 he was hot to silverware. Like what? <laughs> Puerto Rican steel. Like wait a minute, what? Then I go to my black, uh, go to my black side. Uh, same thing. Uh, Puerto Rican side. Yeah, I'm Puerto, my Puerto Rican side. They're like, hey man, Coca Cola. I was like, oh, what the fuck. Everybody's dr-. like, I was, I was. You can't clearly, win. You can't and then, win. And it's fucked up. Is because my sister, my older brother. And my little brother is all light skin. I'm the only chuckle out there. I'm the only one. So I get it all day. I get it all. Like, and I, oh man, I just say it. So, um, but that made me who I am. It made me actually be able to have, I feel like we have the United Nations to cruise. We Absolutely. have Jewish people in our crew. We have Cuban people in our crew. We got Haitian people in our crew. We got Russian people in our crew. Peruvians. We got Peruvian people in our crew. Like I, we fly him in for Peru just to roll blunts. Yeah, and he rolled them very yeah. nicely, by the way. <laughs> there should be a camera because the roll is sweet. Yeah, and he wrestled with camels on Saturday. That's and he writes a llama. <laughs> he came in on a llama. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, but it's, it's a different time. I, I feel sorry for this generation. It's I'm tough sorry. It's tough skin. No, but yeah, look, yo, they growing up soft. I'm going to give you a perfect example. One of my, rest in peace, mm-hmm. one of my really good friends was a guy named Freddie Antimate. Mm-hmm. And Freddie was... Brown is me, Puerto Rican, right? Mm-hmm. And like you, like mm-hmm. he was mixed, but it was so funny. So Freddie was like, yo, B, man, this shit crazy. You know I'm Puerto Rican, 100%, 100%, you know, 100%. Mm-hmm. But I'm like the only chocolate motherfucker Puerto Rican and shit. Right. So, you know, Puerto Ricans come in every motherfucking mm-hmm. flavor. Yeah, they do. You know, I got, you know, you know, some of my cousins, they think they white. Right, right. They right. think they true. white. They Republicans they and Puerto all Rican. that. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, Republicans right. and so, all that, yeah. So, so, uh-huh. So the funny joke that he used to say to me was so funny. He was like, yo, B, every time I go to my little cookouts and hang and my paella and doing my shit, they will always be like, yo, who this nigga in here? Because <laughs> he was the only chocolate Puerto Rican. <laughs> Everybody was like medium, mm-hmm. a little warm, you know what I'm saying? Right. But Freddie was brown is me, 1,000%. Puerto Rican, and he it sound like you, yeah, like you. Uh, he was yeah. going through it. I said Tito Trinidad, <laughs> goddamn it, he be going through it. Okay, um, shout out to Fred. Friday. No, you Friday or next Friday? First Friday, first Friday, yeah. first Friday. Guarantee money, nothing to talk about. Go with the first one. Okay, because I know you from Jers. So Red Man or Method Man? I'm going with Red Man. I got to now. <laughs> Now let's drink. Bro, let's drink. Yeah. Right. I respect that. Fuck it, fuck it. I respect yeah. that. Because hey, Memphis is my man too. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Can I explain my why? Yeah, please, yeah. please. All right, so Red Man represent Jersey all day, to every day, to the fullest. Is him and Meth, they're a team. So I wanted to drink for both of them. Right. First and foremost, Jersey, Red Man, Gully, you know what I'm saying? Doing the same. Meth, Wu Tang, my guy, so I had to drink for both of them. Yeah. I, I just wanted to drink anyway. And by the way, I, when I Googled you, it said you was from East Orange? No, I'm from Newark. Newark, okay. Yeah, I, know, uh, I'm, I, I know where East Orange is. Uh, I'm from Newark. So the okay, next yeah. one's a good one for him. And I lived in, Jack I lived, Capital I lived in West Orange. You lived in but, West Orange? Yeah, but this is after I blew up, though. Oh, not, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Not, I was getting ready to say. Not when I was struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> 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 West Orange. Look, like, he's from Passaic. He's yeah, from Passaic. Yeah, West Orange is nice. Passaic, what's up? Yeah. All right? Yeah. They got a lot of Puerto Rican chicks in Passaic and... 
Colombian. And, he got and, the Colombian. No, no, I'm going to tell you, like in Jersey, we got pockets. Mm -hmm. uh, so in Jersey, if you go like to Clifton and you go to like uh, Passaic. And the Cuban, I got family there. Cubans are in. It's uh, a lot of Union, it's a Union, lot of Union City. Bur Union City. Bourbon Street, Union, whatever. Union City. Yeah. Union City. Yeah. 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 Union City. Uh -huh. Union City. Yep, that's where the Cubans are. Okay. I see. Okay. Let's go. Naughty by nature or laws of the underground? That's Jersey all day. Jersey. Get your shot ready? Yep. Get your shot ready. Let's get your shot let's ready. Get shot. Like, yeah, let's get shot no, he, ready. Got, he got it. He got it. Oh, I, no, I need my shot. I need. <laughs> I just, we get lazy over you're here, trying to flat leave me? Can you, can you, you ready? Laws yeah, of yeah, the yeah. underground. I'm so happy you shouted them out, oh, we man. Them. We, had them we had them on the show. Thank you, Thank you sis. Lord and Naughty by nature. Shout Lord out to and both. Naughty. Let's I just saw Trench last week. Shout out to the judge. Give me some effing. Give me some. Boom. Yeah. Mm. I'm glad I'm not driving. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Any given Sunday or how to be a player? Mm. I think I know the answer. How to be a player. Yeah. Do you really know how to let you Because I know we spoke on that earlier. But I kid you not. Drink champs just kind of like saved me out of the, like, like this, this dumb shit when people used to say my name. It's like, what, what? Like, that purgatory that you were Yeah, I said, hey, hey, hey. I go, what, what? Like, you know, I, I did more than what, what? Yeah, I did more than what, what? <laughs> Stop playing. You did what, what, what? <laughs> yeah. forget, don't forget the other what, what? So, <clears throat> did, uh, did, it, did it really change your life to that? And then it's like. No, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, how to be a player. Let's, let's, let's go back into the scope of Bill Bellamy, right? Okay. You got to understand, night, like, so I got, I got pop in 91. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you was in, in 91. Jail. You was in jail, okay. <laughs> I was in high school. So 91, I did Def Comedy Jam, had one of the dopest sets. I was with the, the yellow, with the yellow on? With, no, no, no. Let me see the first one. First one I had on the black. The and black. Then I had okay. on the yellow. I remember the black. So, so the check it out, right? So I was the first comedian to premiere on Def Comedy Jam. Wow. In 91. Okay, premiere. What does that mean? That means like when, when that show premiered, yeah. every trailer that you saw, I was in. Woo! It was it was uncanny. So like when I taped my set, I closed. But my set was so strong that they put me first mm. in the in the order. And did you know how big the show was going to become? Nobody knew. Okay. Nobody knew, right? I got to ask you one question before you proceed We're going to fuck up every, your whole No, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Before you proceed on. Was that S-Curl in your hair? Yeah, it was S-Curl. It was S-Curl? Love it. Shout out to Ask Curl. So real quick. So 91. Let's take a shot for the Ask Curl. I'm sorry. Shout out. Let's take a shot for the Ask Curl. I ain't going to lie. By the way, this has been something. I was like. Well, you know everybody had the, the hot top. No, I had an Ask Curl too. Fuck my shit up. But um, <laughs> but I was always wondering, like, Dude, is, is this nigga Indian or something? No, niggas, is, niggas, niggas I thought I was Indian. Dominican. I, yo, no, no. I, I know Dominican, so I knew you weren't Dominican. <laughs> so... <laughs> I knew you wanted to make, but I said this nigga must be in here. All right, but let me finish this. this All right, so real lot. quick, so I'm gonna give you, so I'm gonna give you before we get to the how to be a player. So you gotta understand. By the way, sweetheart, you gotta start pouring them shots a little less. Okay, so real quick, we got things so to 91. Do yeah, I premiere on Def okay. Comedy Jam. Um, I premiere on Def Comedy Jam. I come out explosive. Boom! No one knows my name yet, but they they know my set and they know what I look like, yeah. right? So 90, going into 92, I get MTV. So it was almost like wow. I shot out a cannon. Because I always believe God's timing is flawless. Okay. Did, did, sorry, but did Def, Def Comedy Jam have anything to do with your MTV gig, getting that? No, Not at all. I don't even know how shit okay, happened, okay. bro. Well, I'm in New York. That's, that's honest. I'll be honest with you. That's honest. I do Def Comedy Jam. I kill that shit. Hungry young comedian. I get an audition to be a VJ. Don't know what the fuck. I don't even have cable, bro. Mm. I don't have cable. I don't have cable. You're just cable. going looking for work. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. MTV was in certain neighborhoods. Right. Back in the 90s, you had to be, to have you had to be yeah, in the suburbs. Had that package. Had bro, I was, had cable. I was yeah. in the hood, bro. Stop playing with yeah, yeah. me. So I didn't even have MTV. Yeah. I didn't even know what the fuck it was. Yeah. So 
Cut to, I get an audition, shout out to Tracy Jordan. Tracy Jordan was like, yo, you're a funny ass comedian. Do you like music? I was like, yeah. She was like, well, I got an idea for you. I got a show. Um, right now it's called Fade to Black, but we're going to change it to MTV Jams. You would be perfect to be the host of a show. I want you to come in, blah, blah, blah. I'm speeding the story up. Mm -hmm. Go in, I audition. Next thing you know, I'm on MTV. When I first got on Def Comedy Jam, nobody knew my name. Everybody used to say, yo, you my man. Um, um, shit. <laughs> Ralph Bellamy. <laughs> <laughs> they never knew my name. When I got on MTV, hmm. People was like, yo, that's Bill Bellamy. Because you remember back in the day, I used to be like, yo, this is Bill Bellamy. Right. MTV Jams I always said my name. Bill Bellamy, Bill right. Bellamy. Cool, right? I'm, I'm bringing you full story to how to be a player. Oh, you tell a story, brother? Yo, I'm so, back. cut to, I get on MTV. Right. This is when MTV is shifting to playing our music. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Hey, ho. ho. Yeah. Hey, think so you got to understand, I'm in Jersey. I'm seeing... Naughty by Nature before yeah. they was Naughty by Nature. Latifah mm -hmm. before she was Queen Latifah. Red Man before it, Apache. Cats don't even the know who Apache is. You know who Apache is. We hit yeah. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, so I get an opportunity out of nowhere to be on broadcast television to promote hip hop and R&B. That was my lane. Right. Mm. It had never happened before. So cut to... I'm like, oh, shit. You know, they wasn't fucking with nobody black at MTV right. until I got there. It was just Michael Jackson. Right, right. But, 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 but Love so, so they, no, wait. Okay. It was, it was your MTV raps. Okay, yeah. And it was like, but they had no, like, mixture show that could bring the bridge. I was the bridge. Right. So when I came to MTV. First TRL. Boom. Yeah. So when I came to MTV, it was just the timing of it. it. Was this is no ego? I don't want nobody to take this the wrong way. I just got lucky, right? Came in, so it was a bridge between because Yo MTV was here, and then they say, Yo, we don't want to just do like the underground hip hop. We want to do pop culture hip hop. So here come Naughty. Mm. Here come Red Man. Here come Method. Here come the Woo. Here come Jade. Here come SWV. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, it's all this, and it's the only way to blow up. Right. We had yeah. no internet. Mm. If you was an artist in 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if you didn't do MTV, you can't go platinum. It's no way. Those were the gates of the gate. That was the gate gate. <laughs> right. Okay, cut to. Then I hit how to be a player. So I want to circle back to you. So what 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 happened? What happened with how to be a player was how to be a player was like a building step. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna give Russell Simmons his flowers because Russell was like, you you're the culture, <laughs> you 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 you're cool, motherfuckers love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think this, like I swear to God, like Russell. <laughs> Russell, it was Russell Simmons that gave me that opportunity. Mm. So Russell was like, yo, I want to do this movie with you. I think you encompass the right energy to make this movie work. I didn't even know if it was going to be real, bro. You got to understand, I'm brand new to the game. You know, I didn't know Nori. I didn't know you. I, I was like... Eyes wide open, sort of like, oh, my God, I'm in the game now. Like, you know, I was outside the game on the bench, B. Mm. Like, all right, I'm going to give you a perfect serve. This is the liquor talking. Let me drink some water. Drink just some liquor. <laughs> How about half a shot? Take a half a shot. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a legendary story. story. I'm going to give you a legendary yeah. story. Okay, good. What was the what was the initial question? Oh, I didn't drink it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you was the initial question? You were circling back to how to be a player. Yeah, how to be a player. All right, but you got a drink, sir. Okay. <laughs> Why y'all keeping count? Mm. It's called drink chaps. I forgot. All right, but I'm give you a story. By the way, and we into it. Let's. Go. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you like a real story. Okay. So it's. Mm, I'm going to go backwards to go for it. So mm -hmm. I was at, you know, I don't know where you was in 91 or 92. The Def Jam Christmas parties was crazy. Okay. I remember the Christmas parties. We went viral about it. Poquito. 
Okay. Hey. Right. Nori, where was you in 91, 92? Um, depending on when Juice came out, I was probably was in jail again. <laughs> Jail, no, Nori. no, this is back then. I, I was, we was youngins. Old. Yeah, that's when I was younger. That, yeah. now, I'm okay, you man. I'm in jail. I'm in high school. <laughs> you're I'm, in high I'm school. just starting to get you're, my turntable. You're trying to get your turntable. Yeah. He's in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So 91, 92, Def Jam parties was crazy. Yes. So winter time, super cold in New York, right? And um, I believe this is the moment that changed my life. Mm. I'm gonna tell you why. Mm-hmm. So I'm in a line. I'm not famous. I am a hot young comic, tri-state. I'm local hot. Like I ain't worldwide. Ain't no, ain't no Instagram. New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. That's it. I ain't hot nowhere else. Not even <laughs> Philly. Not, I ain't even Philly. get to Philly. You ain't I, to might, Philly. I had a drop in Philly, but I ain't <laughs> yeah, hot yeah, yet. Yeah. Maybe South Street. Uh, okay. Only yeah. rappers okay. and artists can know what I'm talking about. Okay, like yeah, when you yeah. hot yeah. in a little yeah. area. Yep. I'm bubbling. I'm fucking smoking. I, every every shot. Every time I do a set somewhere in New York or Queens, Brooklyn, Jersey, Connecticut, I kill. I'm, I'm feeling myself, hmm. but I'm not. I'm local. Mm. Cool. So I go to the Def Jam party. It's cold in a motherfucker, and I get to the door. I will never forget this as long as I live. So I get to the door, and and um, I forget who I was with, and they say, yo, we done. We had capacity. I said, oh, shit, because I've been outside freezing with my boys and them, and we drove from Jersey to come to New York to go to Def Jam they party. They depending on you to get them in. They can't mm. get in. They yeah. have zero. Yeah, but you, you got it. But, you got it. <laughs> but you I'm got hot it. local. Okay, okay, okay. I get to the door, big ass security dude. You know they always dressing yeah. all black. Yeah. Did he have braids? I feel like he had braids. Yeah, he had braids. Yeah, braids. Okay. So my man was like, nah, B, we had capacity. <laughs> and he put he put his hand on my chest. He said, we had capacity. No more people can get in. And I'm fucked up. I, I literally at the door. Here come LL Cool J. Here come Mary. Here come Jay Z. I noticed how you ain't call him Todd then, because no. you didn't know him as Todd. I didn't know him. I like how I like how I'm you put your story game. together. Continue. I'm catching on to the. To the so I'm like, yo, that go LL Cool J. He he went in. Damn. I didn't know her at the time, but that was Mary J. Blige. She went in. I said, God damn it, there go Jay Z. And I, I didn't know he was Jay Z, but he went in. Right. Okay, cut to. I said, oh my God. I was so burnt. I was, bro, only cats that came out the streets know what I'm talking about. I was so embarrassed. I was so fucking burnt, right? Right. That I was this close to not being able to get in. Mm. I said, there will never be another motherfucking day in my life that people don't know who I am. Mm. That's who made Bill Bellamy. That moment, right? Like that pain of embarrassment, the pain of watching another motherfucker get past me. <laughs> I feel like you're going through the pain right now. Just, you make some I'm having the Herb Gotti <laughs> moment. <laughs> we let you in. We give you your phone. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm being honest. Gotti That's what made Bill Bellamy. Right, right. Because it was like, Wow. In that moment, I never shared this with anybody before. In that moment, it made me go back to the streets with it. Like, yo, I gotta get better. I gotta be, I gotta be more dominant. I gotta get better and I gotta go to work. Cause whatever I'm doing ain't enough. Ain't nothing wrong with getting hurt. This is the mm. thing about cats. They don't know cats always want the pie without the work. Mm. But, Sometimes you got to get smacked in the fucking face. Sometimes you got to go through an adversity to get to your to your to your to, to the prize. That was right? a battery in your back. To, yo, that was a battery yo, to the hustle. Mm-hmm. Street, I'm a street cat. Yeah. I'm dressed up. I'm a street cat. I'm being honest. Yeah. That was such a wonderful moment in my life. Right. Mm. Because cats don't know what it takes to be great. Do you think Michael Jordan won every game? Do you know Michael Jordan didn't even make the team? Yep. He went through some shit and got to be Michael Jordan. Right. Everybody need a setback to get back. Right. In that moment, it made me realize that I got to go deeper. I got to hustle harder and I got to grind better so that I will never feel that again. That's how all of a sudden you saw me 
boom, boom, boom. Because I was like, I'll never let my light shut off again. Let's make that noise. Let's make that noise. That was, that was a beautiful story, man. I had to stop you. That was a no, story. Nori. That was beautiful, man. Nori, I'm gonna yeah. give you your flowers. No, 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 yeah. Please, please, please. Let's stay with you. You want your loud? You want yeah, your yeah, flowers? Later, 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 later. Right. Let's stay with you. He's trying to get me drunk. Yeah, yeah yes, I am. I'm <laughs> okay, drinking um, water. Um, wait. um, what is We're celebrating you? What is the next one? Come on, man. You got your phone open, man. I'm yeah. drinking water. I don't, nobody on their staff drink water. Nope. Yeah. Ready? It's again. Oh, okay. Uh, Cam or Mace? Ooh. You feel like a Harlem nigga, even though I know you're from Newark. <laughs> but you got on a pink Cam shirt. Cam or like, oh. Mace? Take a shot. Take a shot. You're not driving. <laughs> you're not driving. You got to establish this already. I got to take a drink. Yeah, take a drink. Because Cam and Mace, they my boys. I can't fuck. And I they can't. should do an album together. At this point. They should. They should. Uh-huh. The bingo. Cam and Mace. Oh. It's nowhere. I got it. I got it. That's even money. But let me just before we get finish quick time with slime, which we never will. Yeah, <laughs> it's just this is a long lasting game. <laughs> this game will last tomorrow. Which now this is my personal question. This is not even the producer's question. This has nothing to do with it. This has nothing to do with it. Okay, go ahead. But Bill, it's 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 very apparent that you back in the days was a frequent finger popper. <laughs> a frequent. He said he, he had a he had a freak, yeah, freak with freak flyer miles with, on finger popper. Finger popper and card. Yeah, on finger popper. Card membership. You, you know. Um, okay. Are, are you married now? Yes. Okay. Whoa. Let me, let me be careful then. All right. You see, this is all Scale in the past. Down. Scale down. This is in the past. Like back then, in the nineties. <laughs> no, no, no Instagram. No, no Instagram. So right now. We, we we call people snipers, right? That's they see something, they get it, snipe it down. Right now, French Side Montana. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right now, French I'm Montana. You. I'm I'm married, so I I just I'm an observer. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You out the game? Yeah, I'm out the game, but I be watching the game though. I watch. Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie. I watch it every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I, I be looking on Tuesday. I don't. I know there's no football on Tuesday, but I still be watching the sniper games. Right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm Boy with your you. ass, motherfucker. Def Comedy Jam sniper. Okay. Was how was like after you did Def Comedy Jam? Was you finger popping everything in Newark? No, the no, movie no, must have no, changed. No, no, no. I'm outside of Newark. Well, what was it? What, what, what was what was nah, the movie was had to have done it. popping era? For me? Yeah, for you. MTV, the MTV. beach house. MTV. The beach house. The beach house. Because you had let you, me you let me international finger. Let me finger. let me. Finger. Let me finger. <laughs> <laughs> It's why you gotta make it nasty? Yeah, you, bro. you gotta do this. Uh, no, like, why, you gotta, why you doing all that? Because I'm not doing nasty, this. Nasty. 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 No, 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 this is nasty. No, we just imagine his finger you're too, after this. You're, the, too, you're, the, no. you're so nasty. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bring it to your room temperature. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let me let what? me explain the game to you. Okay. So when my book Top Billing come out April 2023, let's make some noise for that. Top Billing. A lot of you, know, you, know, you, know, you know I'm an author, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So real quick, I'm gonna take y'all back. Just let's 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 pick a let's pick a ninety. Let's pick a ninety. Let's pick a 92, 93. Mm. Mm. I can smell it. You was in jail. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You so smell the finger. <laughs> <laughs> the so ninety two, ninety three. Wu Tang came out. Wu Tang. No, Wu Tang's a little bit. Not yet. Not yet. Ninety four. No, no, no. Okay, what's, 94, what's, 94. What, 94. What's 91, 92? Come on, Google. 92, 92. What's, what's, out, what's out at this time? Definitely Tribe, Lords of the Underground. Is it, is it, is it Nice and Smooth? Red Man, Nice and Smooth. 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 Philly. A Gangstar. I, I ran out of Phillies. Is it that? Who? Mr. No, Lee? No, no, no. no. <laughs> the don't have it started yet, yeah, bro. Relax. Don't have it started. No, 92. Let's go. Like I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a give you a gap. So let's go from 92 to 95. Mm. Oh, that's a that's nice. A, that's the golden era. It's a, it's a golden era in hip hop, right. Mm. right? No Instagram, no social media. Mm. You got to understand, for the young cats that's under right now, that's like uh, under 30, mm. they will never live the life we live, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, 
hip hop was like in the basement. So let's 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 figure out cuz no one can tell it like me. At this moment in my life Cats wasn't embracing hip hop all the way. No. You had Run DMC, boom, dope. You had quintessential R&B groups. You had quintessential like uh rock bands. Who was out? Tevin Campbell and shit like that? Wait, Tevin Campbell, Tevin Campbell was Wait, no, no, you're going to throw me off. Fuck yeah, don't throw it. Sorry. All right, let's get it. Let's 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 keep it simple. Mm. Hip hop, let me tell you why I love hip hop. Mm. Hip hop was like underestimated its whole life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a boxer that nobody think could ever be the champ, mm -hmm. like Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. Let's see, hip hop is Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. Came out the gutter, came out the mud, right? He ain't never gonna be no champion. He ain't never gonna be the best. That's what hip hop was right. at that time. Cut. Hip hop was like Mike Tyson grinding. In the gym, punching, slipping, slipping, finding out they left, right, boom, 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 right? Hip-hop was like a true boxer that nobody expected to be a champion. Right. Here is how I kind of like rode the back of hip-hop. So I'm outside of hip-hop not knowing that hip-hop was stuck in the basement. Because it's hip hop needed exposure, right? Mm -hmm. So here come Bill Bellamy out of a left lane. Hip hop is over here, and we came to like a crossroads together, right? Here's the beauty of God. So, white media, MTV decided to make a choice to say, let's take a chance on hip hop. Hip hop came out the basement like, and like nobody knew the power of hip hop. So, what is what? Who is the person that's going to be the voice at the time when hip hop is coming out the basement? They chose me. God damn it. God damn it. I didn't even know I was going to get that assignment. I was another guy coming zig, but God's timing is flawless, right? So I come out of nowhere. I'm the, the microphone for hip hop. Hip hop comes out the basement. We meet together and we go together. This was 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's never happened before. It's documented on Drink Champs my legacy. Mm. Let me tell you why. Because no one ever knew the importance of what Bill Bellamy was on MTV. So I didn't know. So I'm coming up, Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown, mm. Jay, uh, Jade, SWV, Boys to Men, Naughty by Nature, Red Man, motherfucking um, Coolio. All right. All these West Coast, Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, all of us was trying to come up. I knew Snoop Dogg when he was 19, bro. Mm. 19. Right. The first time I went to Snoop Dogg's house, he was holding his son. Do you understand? When you read my book, you're going to understand. Like, I don't even know how it happened. Like, I was like, oh, my God. I, all my life, I always say, oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. I'm meeting Dr. Dre. I'm meeting Ice Cube. I was the bridge between the West Coast and the East Coast. Mm. So you lived in L.A., but you was... No, I lived here, but I went to L.A. to grab the artists to bring them in at the time. Mm. So hip-hop, to me, is like a fighter that was training in a dirty, grungy gym. Mm. Right? It wasn't a famous gym. It was like a grimy gym for cats that like boxing they, in their Timberlands. <laughs> Fifth Street boxing gym. But they could fight. That's what I love about hip hop. Who knew 25 years later, 30 years later, that hip hop is the culture? Right. It is. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you something, though. Now looking back, though, 
in that time period that you started with MTV, do you think, because you said that um, they gave a chance, do you think they underestimated or underappreciated what hip hop could and was doing? Because in the 80s already, the 80s generation of hip hop was already doing arena and stadium tours. Yeah, Motley Crue and them was out there. No, no, not Motley Crue. I'm talking about hip hop. Hip hop. I'm talking about Run DMC and yeah, 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 they were yeah. already doing stadium and arenas. Facts. So to say that in the 90s, you know, something, because it's always been said MTV was kind of boxing out hip hop. They was boxing out for a second. I'll be honest. They was because like um, MTV was conservative. Right. Uh -huh. They didn't know that hip hop would sell. So I don't know, like at that time, I didn't know like, like Joe Biden before he picked Kamala. Right. <laughs> that's that's, a, <laughs> what the, what the, that's an interesting what reference. Oh <laughs> but I'm just being honest, like at that time, because I want, I know this is going to live on like social media forever. Mm -hmm. And there's young people that don't know where we came from. Right. right? They don't know the history. So I want to give them like the history of the game. Uh -huh. So there was a moment in life that hip hop wasn't cool. Right. Wow. Like hip hop wasn't culture. They don't know that. Sure. Like they don't know when uh, we had, um, back in the day, we had Carl Kanai. We had Sean John. Right. We had... Uh, DJ. Fat farm, fat farm, fat farm. Oh. like right. it's certain. Mr. Lee. <laughs> okay, y'all, we we resonating on a real level right now. Like there's certain parts of the culture that don't know the elevation where right. we are now. Right. Like so they don't know the Nietzsche, right? right? Mm -hmm. They don't know Fat Farm, right. like Russell Simmons. Like early echo with the mixtape. Echo, right? Come on, man. Right. Remember damage, Ooh, yeah. damage, Dam damage. Let's go back. Paco, Paco I know. Oh, RP fifty five. Esco, Willie Esco. Paco, I know. Esco. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mecca. Yeah, Carl remember Mecca? Yeah. Come on, man. Like, uh -huh. cost. Yeah, you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop playing. You know you it's watch Travel Fox. And you know, like, listen. You, you, your face says Travel Fox on your it's face. <laughs> You had a Jamaican belt knowing you were Asian. <laughs> you, I could tell. I could tell. That was very Asian of him. But no, yeah, look. Yeah. So let's educate cats while we drink it, right? Mm, yep. So they don't know how important hip hop is mm -hmm. to our culture, right? Mm -hmm. But they don't know the steps. So some cats is jumping on the train right here. But we are the pioneers. We're like, so I had my contribution this way. Nori, mm. boom, FM, boom. Mm. We know. That's why we we this we the same. Because yeah. we know. Mm. We watched it evolve, right? Here's the thing. And I'm gonna say this on Dream Champs. Hip hop is the voice of everything. Yeah. It went from uh it went from the basement situation that people try to keep us low to being the parameter for what's cool. The parameter right. for what's fly, mm. fashion, mm. we dominate. Right. Right? Drink champs dominate the game, bro. Right. You That's stop playing with me. <laughs> I, I think it, it's hip hop is is taking over so much that you don't even notice it. You don't even know you taking it for granted. Like you watching CNN and they talking about yo, they got beef. They got they, no, they, no, they, they using stealing. slang. They still in our shit. They using slang and it's like normal now. That's what I'm trying to say. It's 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 permeated everything. Do you know how many times motherfuckers say, say permeated? Yeah, Nori. it's permeated everything. He, he, he's educated. Bill Beverly. Nori. Nah, bro. Nori. He's a big Nori. He's hip hop and lyricism. We grew up on lyricism. Listen to look it up. Listen to this. I'm because you gonna relate to this. Do you know how many motherfuckers somebody car I fucked know. up that's the Illuminati out there that's the Illuminati <laughs> trying to come <laughs> saying you no I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you some real shit you know how many cats say booty car don't know where it came from mm. but you know what you, that's actually something to even be proud of that's how booty I am is. yo booty car is a uh, booty car is a phrase that people say like, because it's normal. They think it's like something that... They don't know it came from me. Right. Wow. It came from something I wrote on a piece of paper. That's incredible. That I did at... You um, added to the, no, to the vernacular of the English me, language. That I said at the Uptown Comedy Club that got me on Def Jam. 
Period. True story. We got to make noise for that. Come on. <laughs> you, how long you roll your weed? God damn. So he falls asleep. Yeah. Hold on. Is that the thing? So, yeah. So are you the owner of the actual movie Booty Club? Are you a booty club? No, no, booty car. Booty car. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a booty club now? I'm sorry. No, no. You got to do a booty club for the booty car. Hey, no. no trick, trick Daddy runs that. <laughs> no, so Thank Booty you. Car became a movie. And so here's the interesting thing about Booty Car that people don't know. So when the movie came up, I was offered the movie first. And so when I read the script, I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to do that right now. I chose to do Love Jones. Mm. So cause because because the thing about it was, and I don't know if it was a good, I think it was a good choice. But at the time, why I didn't do booty call and Jamie did it and Tommy Davidson and Vivica, was I wanted to be considered a real actor wow. at that time. So I was like, oh, shit, if I do Booty Call, I'm going to be in the same vein that people like see. Like typecasted. In yeah, like I'm almost like the same guy. So I said, I said I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do Love Jones because I can't be comical and silly. I want to be serious. All right. So I jumped on Love Jones with Ted Witcher, Lorenz Tate, Nia Long, Isaiah Washington. Also, the cast was crazy. Right. Because I felt like those cats would make me a better actor. And that's the only reason I did but, That's but, why I did that. But in, in, in hip hop, right? Like, that's like me, like, right? Um, I didn't make up the word slime. Exactly, right? But I made it famous in hip-hop. I got on a 2001 album, a Capone Noriega, something like that, uh, and I kept saying slime. But now all these other people use the word slime, right? Use the word slime. I'm not bitter. I'm so glad I'm not bitter. But had I had nothing going on in my life, I would have been the most bitter been a, you, motherfucker. You being a bar. Yes, I would have been. Tight. Yes. So... Was there every other time where you just thought about it? It was like, yo, man, like they used my word that I... Could you have trademarked it? I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't. I should have. <laughs> I mean, it who would have known at that time? Right? Yeah. I, I didn't know you could tra bro, trademark. You got to understand, right. I'm from Newark, New Jersey, bro. Stop playing. Bro, bro, like... I used to hang out on Clinton Avenue. Coming out the, the mud, like... You got to understand, in my life, when you read my book, Top Billing, like, I had to make choices because most of my cats was, was moving weight in my neighborhood. i am be completely honest. Like, but, but they was missing for, like, three or four summers. So I was like, I don't know if I want to be missing. Right. <laughs> God so, damn. So you seen yeah, Rafi? Yeah, three or four you ain't seen Rafi? Rafi gone. God damn. By the way, Muslim brother, big up. You know, you yeah. know. So... So, like, I was always, like, the thing The thing about the street game to me that was, like, it was sexy on certain levels because you could see certain cats look like they was winning and they was moving and stuff. But it was it always came with, like, a, a expiration date. Mm -hmm. I never seen a cat. The only cat that I know, like, right now off the top of my head, doing shots with y'all that came out the street game and became everything they needed to be was Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. How many Jay-Zs you know? None. Right. And niggas don't even know Jay-Z. Right. <laughs> but what I'm saying <laughs> is... Me personally. You know what but me? what you see what I'm saying, like, Jigga, to me, was very similar to my life, right? Like, I, I was around all the shit. I was all around things that was good and bad, right? And I just was like, I just don't know if I can wear a expiration date on what I want to do. Right. So I was like trying to figure out how to make money and figure out like what's my way out. How could I take care of my family, my mom, my dad, my sisters and my brothers or whatever, right? And so like when I started 
Like, like I always did it. I used to say this to my friends. Y'all slinging dope. I'm slinging jokes. Mm. This wow. joke money ain't got no limits. Ain't got no ceilings. Ain't no way I'm going to jail for telling jokes. Yeah. So I hustle jokes. This is the funny shit about me. I'm like a street dude that tell jokes. And when I was in the clubs back in the day with all the hustlers and all the dudes that was in the street game, I was telling jokes for them because I knew they life. So I got famous on the street first. Right. That's the thing that people don't know about Bill Melvin. They seen a colorful like, oh my God, he's on MTV, spring break. Right. They don't know I was slinging jokes for street cats. Uh, they had more money than me, uh, fur coats at the shows. These motherfuckers had more bottles than y'all. They was street cats, tough. Right. They gave zero fucks about me when I got on MTV. Uh, I promise you, like, I never forget. Nobody in here know about the zoo crew. They was at my shows, like, back in the early, and they was real cats, like, not really chuckle chuckles. Mm -hmm. They wanted real comedy from real situations that they could relate to. So I was doing comedy for them. I would go to uh, Manhattan proper in Queens mm -hmm. and do street jokes. Mm -hmm. But I didn't look like a street cat. So the funny shit, they'd be like, yo, I'm confused. But after I do my jokes, cats would be like, yo, my man, where you from? <laughs> where you from, man? Yo, you talk that shit. Mm -hmm. I was like... Yeah, you <laughs> underestimated underestimate, me because I came in here kind of clean. You don't know my life. So when I start talking that real shit, cats go crazy, right? So I always do my shit for the streets, period, period. How to be a player, love Jones. All the choices I made in my career because I was like, I never want to be too commercial right? because sometimes you get... Commercial make you cupcaked out and you and you and you you like cats stop relating to you because they feel like you say it say it loud. You lose yourself. So I always in my entire career have wanted to represent hip hop, represent the black male, represent hustlers like cats that hustle that want to be about something. I always try to keep my track record clean. I never want to try to get caught up in no grimy shit and like be an inspiration. Right. So if you if you look at my career, bro, everything about my career has been chess moves. Mm. You feel that in your spirit? Yeah, I feel it. Come on, everybody. I'm a guy I forgot we still on quick time with slime. No! Yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. done? No, we're yeah, not yeah, done. No, 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 we're not even close. God no. damn. We're a little yeah. close. Let me yeah, do a little close. Words. Okay. You ready? Yeah. We're gonna keep it going? Yep. Mob Deep or MOP. I got my shot ready. Those are the two hardest moments. Mob right there. Deep. Bro, I'm going Mob Deep, B. Stop playing with me. Okay. I know I love them both, but God damn it, my D. Okay. T, we good? We good. I got the next one. Survival right. of the Phyllis. Motherfucker. Go ahead. Go ahead. NWA go ahead. or Wu Tang Clan? You just shot ready? That's a shot right there. That's a shot. All right, In my, my opinion, that's a shot. Man, I, I know there's no yeah, way you yeah, can't. Like yeah. yeah. Even money. Even like money. Even money. Yeah. Yo. Oof. Mm. Oh, next one's a good one. Who writes these motherfucking questions? Ready? Good. Ready? In, you, in Living Color or Mad TV? In Living Color. I know what I mean. Yeah. Lane. New Jersey Drive or Who's the Man? Oh, that's a good one. Anybody, you're going to go Jersey. Oh, that's right. Which, which, which one? I was in Who's the Man, but the New Jersey. New Jersey Drive is. Dope. The Jersey, Jersey Drive, Drive. Such a dope Jersey movie. I want that was, was a such a gutter yeah. movie. It was, was a good movie. I, was I thought Still in Cars was dope until I realized what the fuck am I doing? But who? Ah! But who's the man on some hip hop shit? Was so classic. 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 By the way, classic. I want to make, the I wanna make Drink Champs movie over. Like it has that to be like who's the man? Because it's like every there was no extra. No, there was not one extra in Who's the Man. Can I tell you a funny story about Who's the Man? Let's go. We love your stories. All right, real quick. Where's the camera? Where's my camera? 
right. right there. They all you can. I'm gonna tell you a true story about who's the man. You know who, who's the man might have the most hip hop cameos ever. Uh, I believe yeah. it. Yeah, I, I believe it might be top five what? most hip hop cameos ever. It was a ever. mixtape movie. Grand. It was a mixtape movie. Yeah. Boom. Killed it. You might want to copyright that yeah. mixtape movie. <laughs> I like that. The first tape. person I ever hugged that had a bulletproof vest on was Tupac. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Tupac. All right, cool. Cause. So we know we up in the Bronx. We filming in the Bronx. Ed Lover, Dr. Dre will tell you this. We shooting a motherfucking uh, barbershop scene. And like where we shooting a barbershop across is vacant. It ain't shit. It ain't over there like well, this, a bomb. This is boogie down. This is the burnt down Bronx at the time. Stop it playing. It wasn't a boogie down at this time. Okay, I remember this. You know where yeah, I'm talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so real talk. Grand Poobah's on set. Bernie Mac, me. Out of nowhere, Tupac comes walking up. Does this have 40 Below's on? Is, is this- you are right. It's no, Tim, was just, you there? It's very high. No, was no, no. I'm just, I'm, just try, I'm just trying to think of this. You with me? I'm trying to think of this. Okay. So is this Tupacalypse Tupac? So no, this this is Pac. Yeah, this is yeah, Brenda got a baby Tupac. This is Brenda's got a baby Tupac, and Pac is all New York at this moment. Right, yeah. Let's, let's, let's keep it 100. Yes. So Pac is like, yo, B. me and Pac was like this, bro. I promise you. Pac's like, yo, B, nigga, you getting it. He comes up to me, he grabs me. I was like, oh, shit. What is the fuck is going on, bro? I said, oh, shit. I was like, Pac, what's up? He was like, nigga, you know I got to stay on my grind. I say, yo, we doing a movie. <laughs> he didn't get shot yet, right? No, he had not no, been no, shot. He, he, he had a bulletproof vest. He's the first person I ever felt. What I don't know if you ever felt. When a person got a bulletproof vest yes, on, yes, it's yes. a different feeling because it's like steel. But I like, think the shit with the cops had already happened at that time. Oh, okay. I think so. I think was so. it was it the Atlanta shootout? The Atlanta shootout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it might have happened. Thing you have. So okay. so, so when I hug pop like this, blah blah blah, and I feel it, and I'm like, yo, what's that? He was like, yo, be I have shit, nigga. You never know. And I was like. Oh my God, Pac! What are you doing? He literally he had on a um like he a wasn't wrong. Facts. He had on a jersey like, but it was oversized because that's how we was wearing our right, clothes right. back Every, in the day, yeah. bigger. But he had the shit on, bro. I don't know if you ever you never hugged nobody had a bulletproof vest on. Uh, too many times. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I <laughs> figured, yeah. Okay. Nori, Nori's like, everything, I was in jail. Yo, can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, 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 please. I was waiting for you. Yeah, we are going to the bathroom. Let's go. Bathroom. Yeah. Hold on. Do we take a shot first? Take a shot. Take a shot for the bathroom. 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 the bathroom? Shout out to the bathroom. It's the first time we ever took a shot for the bathroom. We're about to release our culture card. We're about to our culture card. Yeah. 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 Fire. It's trading cards, like NFT trading cards. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, this Frenchie, everybody. Frenchie! Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I feel like he like damn near a slumdog billionaire because somehow this nigga knows everybody. Everybody. I be rolling. All right, Let well, me get one of them diamonds get off my from Brickle Boys. This is the Brickle Boys in the hey. building, too. Yeah. Hey, Yo, Team um, Brickle in the building? That's right. That's right. That's right. right. God damn it. Okay, um. Oh, right. yeah. This Let's one go. is good. This one is good. Go ahead. Jamie Foxx or Marlon Wayans? And have you... This is a two-part question. Go. Have, have you spoke to um, Jamie Foxx since you said he got knocked out? Because I'm I'm figuring he's kind of like a little mad at you. Still? No, I'm asking. I haven't talked to Jamie Foxx since I told the story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It but... But he's still my guy. I, I, you know, I love. I got a drink because I love Marlon. Okay. And I love fucking fucking Jamie Foxx. That's the political way to answer there that question. So. There it is. Yes, that was the political. And, and, right and we need way. Jamie on the show. Marlon, two and times need, alumni yes. on the show. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I love my guys. That's what it is. 
Marlon been on the show two times, and for some reason, why Jamie ain't come on? Well, 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 nah, I'll see Jamie open time. invite whenever he's ready. Yeah, that's, 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 that's my guy as well. But um, the funniest shit is every time Marlon comes to the show, there's something always wrong with our AC. <laughs> <laughs> no, first of all, we did it in a warehouse one time. We did it in, in the warehouse. studio, and he just be looking and, around. He be like, "In Murder Gar- we was in Murder Gardens. It was, yeah, we was in a place called Murder Gardens." Mur- <laughs> Why would your guest come to Murder Garden? <laughs> no, drink, yeah. no are you serious? We, we didn't have it figured out by then. This is when we were starting out. Yeah. Like we, no, no, we wasn't just no, we, 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 we had yo, it. Yo, we, we went there very purposely. Come to my show. It's at Murder Garden. <laughs> yo, there's another. It's our show and First 48 are the two shows that are really popular. <laughs> okay, <laughs> And it's very it might be a little tight. I, what I mean is we have it together. I mean, I mean where we were at, we ain't have it together. Like, yo, hell, hold on, let's get our let's get our life together. We're also in danger too. <laughs> also in danger yeah, too. no, it wasn't fun for us either. Yeah, it wasn't fun for us neither. All right, um, okay, boom. Mm, all right. Nori is searching. Queen Latifah or Lauren Hill. Ooh, Queens, Queens, Queens. I mean Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. They're trying to set you all up, right, by Queen the Latifah. way. <laughs> Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. Ain't no motherfucking way. I got a drink. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Let me tell you. Yeah. Let me tell you why I got a drink. Cause Latifa, you and I, T-Y. Right. T-Y. We need Latifa on the show. We Equalizer, yo, 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 Lauren Hill, mm-hmm. Latifa, flavor two unit Fuji's flavor unit Shaq Kim, Big Lauren Shaq Hill, Fries. Why, Clef, let me tell Legend. you why I'm going to drink to y'all. This is flowers the other way. Right. Because two beautiful females mm. that represent hip-hop mm. all day, every day, made their mark. That's to the right. utmost. Of and there's no way I can pick one over the other. I, I love them both. I am drinking to that. That was beautiful right there. That was beautiful right there. I am. And the, They're icons. Icons. They're icons. Yeah. Okay, I know this is off subject. That's like saying Sade and Anita Baker. Ooh. This is off subject, but um, we got um, and this has nothing to do with these questions. Why you right be? Now. Let me just you, say you, I'm scared I'm of your me, phone, Nori. No, 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 Nori be reaching. No, no, no. no. This no, no, no. motherfucker been rolling yeah. weed for 18 hours. He's, yeah. he's a robot. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he don't even look at people. He just be rolling. This is what's dope about Dream Chance, right? You bring people into your world mm-hmm. to have fun. Mm-hmm. I am a fan of your show, right? Mm. And what I love about Dream Champs is that you give people a platform to be themselves. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. They can't do this type of interview on Jimmy Kimmel and this and that. They come to Dream Champs to be real. Not that, Thank hit you. Hit that blunt. That's a fact. <laughs> don't, don't hit that blunt. Don't hit that blunt. Next thing you know, he's going to be like, hit that heroin while you're at it. No. <laughs> he's going to give me a Quaalude. No, no. no. Let me let me let me spit some real shit real quick. Okay. Because like this is why I did a podcast myself. Because like cats don't know Bill Bellamy, Bill Bellamy, right? Like they're like, oh, they know snapshots of Bill Bellamy. Like they know snapshots of Dream Chaps. Mm-hmm. Right. Dream Chaps, right? right? But what I like about Dream Chaps before I even had a podcast was it was real for me because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a sh- real hip-hop lover, street cat, right? So, mm-hmm. case, so case in point, I want something that, like, represented me. So whether, I, whether y'all never had me on your show or ever not, I love Drink Champs. Thank you. We've been trying to get him for six years. Let's be clear. He's being humble right now. <laughs> I never knew what I would have my own podcast. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even on that level, right? I was watching you guys embrace the culture, mm-hmm. have the best like interviews and moments that mm-hmm. capture people, right? And I was like, yo, that's so fucking fly. Because mm-hmm. that's what was MTV was about back in the day. Mm-hmm. Like having, but we couldn't be like as real as you that's guys. Explicit, but, right. but you guys are, you have no ceilings. 
no caps. Right. But that's you finger what, pops a lot more than us. I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, that's true. But what Back I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. but what I'm saying, like, mm. like, drink champs needs their flowers. Oh, oh shit. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what, Bill? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When, when, just, you know, I had so much fun Googling you, right? Because you have a luxurious career. You've done, in my opinion, from the outside of this looking in, that's the inside of this looking out. You've done everything that any actor, comedian, uh, a, a, a person that wants to get in this game, you've accomplished it. But the thing about you is you're humble about it. The humility. Right? And what's crazy is... That has to be respected. That has to be honored. It's because there's so many people like I, there's, there's a person across the street right now that that sold one bottle of Pepsi, and he's like, "I'm a fucking man." No, you not remember the guy that's down the block that sold three thousand bottles of Pepsi? Right. And thank you. The fact is, I had so much fun. Like, I, like, like I do. We've been doing this for six years, right? Six plus. Yep. And. You know, I, I already I, I didn't have to Google you, but I wanted to because you know I wanted to. And as I kept going, I kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going, I kept going, I kept going. And I said, his accolades doesn't match his attitude because your attitude. What I mean by that is your attitude is so much positive. It's so dope. It's so good. Like when you see somebody, you'll come on. You'll you'll even walk over to them, and it's like that type of version. That who you are will never be made again in this era. Facts. And that's fucked up. But that's leading by example. That's, that's the leading example. By example. So that's the reason why we brag about people like you. <laughs> we brag because because like 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 I I'm thinking of the movies and then uh, again same people I say yo send me all his movie list and that shit just kept going. And I'm looking like, holy shit, there's artists that got five records that think they're the fucking world. One album. I was, I was trying to say, I was trying to say that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but yeah, and they think they're the world and they have no idea of the work that you had to put in. I'm talking about, you know, and, and, and from, from 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 that generation, like like yeah, man. Like right now, like God bless. And this is this. I don't know. We still with quick time slime, but this was we a are. crazy we thing. Are. But this was a crazy <laughs> thing. Was um, we interviewed Mike Epps, and then Mike Epps and I asked Mike Epps, so how do you feel about these YouTube comedians? And he was just like, man, they don't have to. They had to go through what we went through. They don't have to hit those stages right. and see a YouTube comedian. This is according. So how I took it, you see how careful I am still, y'all. He is so loose. According to how I took Room it. Room teacher <laughs> voice. You got media trained. But, 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 <laughs> but these these YouTube guys, they could come and they could entertain their people for one minute. Dev Comedy Jam was how long? It was like 15 minutes and then it chopped down to like six or seven, right? It was, you know, it was, honestly, our sets were eight minutes. <sighs> chopped down to like six. Still okay. Oof. Yeah, it was you tight. Do you think Dev Comedy Jam could exist again in this climate? No, no you don't think so? A, a I, think, I, I think Dev Comedy Jam in this era would be bananas to break through all the bullshit, but like it would be it would be so many people like being against truth. Right. So many people against like being free. Wouldn't that be more reason to do it? Yes. Right. Th th this is the thing I'm going to say, and this is why I love Jinx Champs, right? Mm -hmm. Don't ever change your purpose oh, to the not. culture. Right. Yeah, let me take the rest of my shot. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I ain't got one. You ain't got one. Oh, I got one. Oh, yeah, you got one, motherfucker. We've been waiting for you. All right, I'm going to tell you let me something. Let show how I go down the hatch. Like Listen, I'm going to say something. Let me take it. Mm. Ah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I never drink this much. I only drink this. We don't ever drink this because I'm either. with you guys. <laughs> only on drink champs. I want this to be documented, right? If you do not fight for the culture, the culture would die. Because if we don't have moments like the drink champs, uh, different people that really love hip hop, like. 
I love my life. I love my success. I love my book that's coming out, my podcast, my family, my kids. I love all that. But like, even my children don't understand hip hop like I do. Because hip hop was like a way for me to feel good about myself. Mm -hmm. Hip hop was a way for me to feel my swagger. Mm -hmm. Hip hop was a way to interpret my music. Drink Champs is a mu- it's music to the culture. Yeah, like the new sauce cover. It's sauce. Like, like you got to understand, take, take Drink Champs. Drink, I'm not even promoting myself. Take Drink Champs out the game. It'd be empty. Yes, it is. Am I lying? Yes. Think about it. We don't have, y'all not on TV, TV. No. But guess what, y'all did? We make it to TV. Let's, let's get to the motherfucking internet and get busy. Right. And let me tell you what, the internet speak volumes because mm. this is worldwide. Ain't no ceilings on this, right? Mm-hmm. So when I see y'all interviews mm. and I see how funny and like, even though you got to get drunk, come on here. <laughs> no, you don't have to. You don't have to. Don't have I, to. Chose, so, I chose to. You get drunk. Bad sober guests that had great episodes. But I'm... I feel comfortable yeah. being intoxicated. It's a safe space. It's safe. <laughs> it's a safe place. It's for for the culture, and right. you guys are good guys, right? right. Ultimately, you want to have great interviews. You want to have wonderful moments, and you get everybody. Right. I promise you, you're going to get everybody because television can't do what Jink Tramps Jink Tramps can do. <laughs> You got another shot ready? Cause I'm ready. No, wait, wait, right. wait. I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna give because I'm giving it from the heart. You guys right now are MTV. Wow, that's crazy. I said wait, the sauce. wait. That's a little too much. Listen to me. Drink champs right now is MTV. Let me tell you why. Cause. Because in the 90s, MTV was Mavericks and was like, we give zero fucks, and we're going to push, push push right so mtv provided an opportunity for so many artists to push through that wouldn't have the opportunity do not stop doing drink champs because there has to be a space for a guy like me a guy like Kanye, a guy like Irv, a guy like goddamn, uh, goddamn Jay, a goddamn Rihanna. Uh, who, who else? Cool Herc. No, we need Cool Herc. Cool Herc. But, but listen, but this is the thing what we got to do with Dream Champs. We got to have a platform for the culture. So like... Cats can learn something they didn't know. That's, like, that's cats point, gonna yeah. come and see my interview and go, I didn't know. Right. Like, when I watched Kanye's interview, I was like, I didn't know. Right. It's like, when I watched Irv Gotti, uh, and I got it, know. and he, I was like, I ain't know he's still in love. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. Nori, fix oh, your no, face. That was that was but beautiful. listen. Let me fix my face. Let me fix your oh, face. No. But 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 like I'm taking a shot. I'm sorry. But I can't Nori, fix my face. Nori. Nori. Taking a shot. Let's take a shot. Come on. I don't have nothing. No, you got, you oh. Yo, the shot yes, you just do. Yo, you better start show. taking your shot. So <laughs> let, let me let me uh, drink a shot. Because <laughs> you was Trump homeboy at one point, right? You're Trump's homeboy? <laughs> Trump's homeboy? Yeah. No, I wasn't Trump's homeboy. You finger pop something with Trump. You Let's finger pop Trump? No. You finger pop Trump? No. You no. been researching me? No, I'm in sh- oh, damn. I mean, yeah, yes. I've been researching. Nori, Nori is a lightweight <laughs> investigator. <laughs> you work for the feds, so all right. He's lightweight. He's no. <laughs> Illuminati. Yeah. So, real quick. So, I mean, I don't know what year it was, but I hosted. Trump had a uh, Team Miss USA. And the crazy thing, let me see. Do you know Nick Lachey's wife is Vanessa? No, sir. Marcel? No, no. What's, what's Nick? What's Nick? Google it. 
Yeah, he's a Googler. He's the go- we have the Googler. He's the Googler. The Googler is like the Googler. Uh, what's up? What, what, uh, what's uh, Nick Lachey's wife's name? You said Hutchins? Nick Lachey's wife name is Nick Lachey? Is Hutchins the last she's name or the, the first name? He's the L. Nigga. Vanessa, Vanessa Hutchins. Hutchins. So. No, I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea what we're talking about. No, I'm just saying I hosted I hosted uh, Miss Teen USA once. Okay, where's this at? Well, uh, well, you know Trump was always at those weird things. No, I'm um, no, no. This is like '90s. All right, we obviously so, suck at googling. I'm hosting uh, Miss Teen USA, and uh, it was actually super dope. Like it was like great situation. I didn't know Donald Trump. What at year that. was this, by the way? Just just to know the Trump year. Ex- estimated. I'm year. not sure. I want to say 93, 4. Okay, okay. That's so, why we all admired Trump. But Wu-Tang is outside. This is Guess the, admi- the black admiration. Trump. That's the thing. Yeah. That's no, the no, no, I'm being honest. So I'm like, I'm hosting... Um, Trump is cool. He yeah, hangs out with he's the golf. cool Trump. Yeah. And, um, and I didn't even uh, know he would ever won... R- run for like well, president yeah, decades, and win and all before. So like, so you know, I'm like MTV guy. I get it. It's like it was on CBS or something. Uh huh. It was because you know yeah. that shit was crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. What? what? Vanessa. <laughs> Awesome, so, guys. Great job. By the way, I, by the way, by the way, by the way, he just said the name as if we all understood. Like if we can't, no one understood. But except for him, he's, he's like, like hey guys, can you Vanessa say that Manila? in English? What the fuck did he just say? Vanessa Manila. First oh, of all, the way okay, you're okay. saying it, no yeah, way. He's like, he's like, he said, he said, bye, 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 Vanessa Manila. Vanessa Manila, guys, fuck? okay, thank you very much. I told well, she's you. on, but right now, yeah, but right, right now she's on. Um, She's, She's on, on novella? Uh, CSI Hawaii. Ooh, oh, but, novella. But, but at that time, Hawaii novella. Vanessa Manilo was a gorgeous, beautiful girl. Vanessa was one of like, She's beautiful. She was like uh, okay. coming up in like in a pageant shit. In the co- she was a contestant, right? right at right, that right. time, right, right, right. So I'm like Bill Bellamy hosting, uh-huh. whatever. So cut to, um, I meet Donald Trump for the first time, <clears throat> and at this time, like Donald Trump is probably one of the most charismatic people, right? Because yes. he's like personality. He's shaking hands. He's saying hello. I never knew he would be a politician right. in ninety. No, no, you wouldn't know that then. For no sure. way. Um, so this might be ninety four, three. Yeah, this is mad early. Like, so where's the? But, but at this time, he is on with... CBS. Mm. No, this is big. You don't understand. Miss Teen USA was no. Big. But what's the correlation with him saying that you supported Trump? No, I said that no they had a relationship. No. Oh, that's the relationship. Nori drunk. No. <laughs> no. Do, you got to understand. Nori, let's go back. Let you me say tell. you had a good experience with No, him in listen, situation. listen. Nori, because I, I know how the internet can get crazy. Yeah. This is 93, mm. 94. Mm. Do you understand? Donald Trump in 93, 94 did not have his TV show. Yes. He did not. He was he, just uh, a businessman. He was just a businessman in real estate back then. A celebrity you, business. You you was in jail. Yes, and I okay. and, I, <laughs> and our folks like this. <laughs> hey, I like you been like saying that though. You no, well, he said, everything then, I asked him. He said I was in jail. Our <laughs> folks liked him back then. He was great back then. <gasps> no, here's the thing that was interesting because cats don't know the transition. Okay. We lived it. Mm-hmm. Let's go back. We in the early 90s. Uh, social media is not a thing. Mm-mm. Napster is about to happen. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. So we like, we coming up in the game. Like, Cass is trying to win, right? Mm-hmm. So Donald Trump at that time was Mr. New York locally. It's fire. I understand. Not just locally, nationally, he's the boy. No, no, no. There was no, not in the nineties. Yeah, man. You think he was national? I'm in Miami, so I'm telling you this. Oh, okay. okay. How did you know? I'm just saying, culturally, he was like this rich guy that everybody, we all were like, why? We want to be Why? like Donald Trump? Why? Because he's a millionaire. Why? 
Was it on TV? Yeah. What was it talking about? In the you Miami know, Herald. Like shows all those news expos. No, on no, them? it's too. No, no, no. You. That's what, what, behind what 90s that. Are you talking about? Because I'm every, talking 92, 93. Okay, maybe not. You're right. You might. You might be right. You no, might be right. no. I'm talking. You talking about the shit when it got boom, boom, boom. I'm talking about when I first met Donald Trump. I was hosting Miss Teen USA. I'm talking about Raekwon Black Trump. Yeah, that's after. That's that's, that's 94, past 95. 95. No, I'm that's before you. I'm before you. Yeah, that's but even in the 80s, Trump was already a celebrity. No, yeah, he but was not. Not, 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 not yeah, like you think. Right, he, he was no, a flavor no, flavor I think, with the I think we're, we're, He kind of was Trump a flavor Trump was always a cultural celebrity in America. Not like, no, no, no. To be rich no. like Donald Trump. Where you grew up? Where you grew up? Way, guys. Here in Miami. Great, great, great conversation. You grew up in Miami, right? Yes. No, no, no. Trump... It got, Are you like, sure? Look, look, they're no, green though. Everybody's wait, wait, gonna... well, well, I'm gonna give it to you. So me, Noriega, we was in New York. Right. You in Miami. Right. How many people was in Miami in 91, 92? Yeah. <laughs> he was in jail. I'm in Who was who was out? I'm in New York. Me and Noriega in New York. No, no, look, right. my, everybody else and everywhere else wasn't Trump known to everybody. What year? Like, I remember he was a fan wrestler. He was a wrestler. Trump is known. He's known. He's, known. He's a cultural thing in, in America. In 92? In the late 80s, even. <laughs> early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Early 90s, he's becoming a phenomenon. It's a great conversation, by the way. He becomes the the bar for what Americans perceive as this is what we success. Be. Yeah. At what year? At what year? Yeah. What you, Home Alone is what? Home Alone. He's in Home Alone. Ninety two. Okay. What, what year? year? What year was that? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. Look at that. Eighty nine. Damn. Okay. Yeah. You were not here. I don't know how you wanted to be right. You was in that conversation. Years right. Yeah. Yeah, Are you sure? <laughs> I said in the 90s, he was on the Howard Stern show a lot, too. I'm telling you. No, I'm telling you. This is I was on MTV in 91, 92. And I was a kid, but I even remember, like, Trump was like that thing. You know was, you know, you know, know why I can understand his, his point? It's because even if he was a cultural phenomenon, back then, you didn't understand it if he was just in New York. If he was just well, in yeah, New York, yeah, maybe yeah, you guys think, but, but, local, like, but I we, didn't know, we I didn't all know over the, the world. We're all, even yeah, though I mean, you was in the know, country. I, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I, like, I didn't know the impact in Miami at that time. Like, well, so me and Noriega, we're in New York. Like, 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 honestly, there was like in 91, 92, there was no Trump Towers and all that other shit. But you know what's funny? It's just it's just like what you're saying right now. It's just like what Dave Chappelle said in his monologue. Dave Chappelle said, a lot of people said, he said, he said uh, Dave said, people think the Trump era is over. He said, but it's not. No, it's not. He said, people in New York, yeah, I think you can think that. He said, but I live in Ohio amongst the poor whites. And... And that's what he's trying to say is, is that it's, the Trump era is going to continue to to grow and keep going because of that. It's because people have never seen a person speak politics in this that way. And in that form, in that way, I do agree with Dave Chappelle. People have never seen no new disrespect. But what do we? But what ha, what does that do with what we're saying? I have no idea. Well, no, just we don't. Think, Hey, FM, on, how are we hey, being man. drinking? We don't, we don't politics, know. But we're trying to talk the dumbest <laughs> politics there is. We are, yeah. right. we are not we that dumb, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, listen. We're a little bit dumb. Yeah. It's, 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 it's two things we're talking about, like cultural Wait, yeah, impact and relevance, right? Like, so here we go. But Trump was cool when you was fucking with so let, Yeah, let's just go back to that. Never let's mind how, let's if we know him or not. Like, we're not talking about day one right now. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm saying back then, so I'm on MTV. I didn't... No, he was not yeah. finger popping. Like, Kim and Trump Why together? Why you always want me finger popping? <laughs> He's, <laughs> he said you in the same couch with Trump and shit. Like, oh shit. No, I'm not that. <laughs> you always want me finger popping. Yeah. I don't finger pop. Because, I mean, I'm be, be, let's be clear. Let's be finger <laughs> popping me. Finger popping me smash. What does finger popping mean? It means smashing. I just, like, I just like the term. Good no, no. Finger Popping means finger popping, smashing is smashing. That is come true. on, man. Let's keep it on, honey. It's a now. 
It's not. It's not. Actually, it's a verb. No, it's, it's a, a verb. verb. It's a verb. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Mega Pop is an action verb. Yo, Get your shit together. I can time. tell he was in prison. <laughs> you was in prison. I don't know. know you equate that to that. I thought this was my partner. I thought Why it was another. Why are you always in jail? <laughs> Yo, no, no it's back then. It's back then. You always in jail. No, 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 I'm not in jail. Come on. You got to be on the street so we can talk. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. The next question. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never see I never see you go And the next question is You know I can take a joke I'm good Okay mm. Finger pop it Or not finger pop it <laughs> <laughs> It's not a, good, good. It's not a, Let's go Are you taking a shot For finger pop I'm drinking a drink <laughs> Alright I'm gonna drink my drink then. I'm gonna drink my drink Oh shit so, <laughs> Cheers Cheers no, this is it's a his drink, not his shot. Oh, 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 oh. I got drink my drink. I got it's a difference. This so we got drinks and no, shots. Listen, this thing. is a dream come true. Right. Because honestly, bro, I love y'all show with all my heart. And I promise you, I'm not making this up. I watch you guys grind. I watch you guys blow your shit up. And I'm like, I was like, I got to do Dream Champs. I ran into Noriega in Vegas. Yes. And he was like, yo, B, you got to come fuck with us. Damn it. And I said, Nori, when? He was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he said, but are you but finger you popping? Do it. <laughs> he was like, are you finger popping? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Make some noise finger popping. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Look, look, hold on. So I'm going to say, you know, I'm real. I'm going to salute you with my drink. Ching, ching. This is my drink. Ching, ching. Okay. And then I'm going to also salute you with my shot because I'm taking that too, even if I don't have to take a shot. Nor are you a drinker. Mm. It's my Puerto Rican side, but I can switch it. And, I, you know, I can go to my Get black side. The but then, but go then ahead, fucked Nori. up about it. My black side want go black ahead, go, alcohol. Go, go, go get your got, shit. Yeah, go get you like. All right, all right. So, um, you multicultural. Right, right, right. <laughs> this black Puerto Rican guy, I just want to put it out there. This, now, this, now, this one's going to hit me personally. Okay, go ahead. Because I'm going to take it personal, whichever one you pick with this one. Coming to America or Harlem Nights? Woof. That's the theme we didn't think of, coming to America. Mm. Call them nice. Wow, All really? Right. I'm going to be honest. I know why you're going to say Harlem Nights. That's mixtape in you. Look, look, look. look. In, in, that Because that had everybody in it, too. Harlem Nights was crazy. It was. It in was. my experience, I heard Kevin Hart one day say. Don't cry, Nori. He wanted. <laughs> I'm not crying. He wanted to remake Harlem Nights. Mm. So I, I kept listening. And I was just like. Why would you remake Harlem Nights? And what I didn't realize is Harlem Nights for us is who's the man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's the mixtape. It's the who's the man. It is the who's the man. Of comedians. Fact. So is that the reason why you pick Harlem Nights? I just pick Harlem Nights because I feel like... Was that Red Fox's last performance? That's true. That. That was Relatively. Yeah. But Harlem Nights is the quintessential movie for all these talented comedians to be in one film. Mm -hmm. And it was phenomenal. I mean, there's so many moments in Harlem Nights that will fuck your world up mm -hmm. of laughter. Like... It's it's no words. Like we need to do another Harlem Nights. Like we need to do like like who's the man to Harlem Nights. We gotta do another one. Mm. But Harlem Nights was crazy. Right. Let's give Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, right. Della Reese they flowers, bro. Right. Stop playing, bro. Shot in a pinky toe. And shot in a pinky toe. She shot in a pinky toe. Whoever got shot in their pinky toe. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta be an ill aimer up. <laughs> aimer? Aimer up. You gotta aimer -er things. Yeah. In the pinky toe, and you just hit the pinky toe? That's, That's a good answer. That is fire. Okay, moving on. Are we moving on? We, we, are we moving on? Is there more questions? Yeah. We got, yeah. We got 17, no, 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 no. A little bit more. It's a little bit more. It's like four more. Four oh, wait. I got the next one. Yes, please. Biggie or Big L? Biggie. Mm. And you're the next one after that? Ain't nothing to talk about. And I love Big L, but Best Biggie. Of both. Yeah. Come on, stop playing. All right. Scarface or Ice Cube? Oh. 
Scarface. Whoa. I got to go. I got to go with Big Dog. Scarface is everything. Okay. And I love I love Ice Cube, but Scarface? Big up to Ice Cube for telling us, I ain't got nothing to do with drunk champs. <laughs> I stand with you, Ice Cube. I got nothing to do with drunk champs Listen, either. I'm such an Ice Cube fan. I love Ice Cube. Like You know I'm an ultra Ice Cube fan. Yes, Only I time I've ever been nervous on drink champs when we had Ice Cube on. Yes, I seen Ice Cube red. is OG in the, the game. game. Like, I seen you. Pioneer. Respect the Ice Cube. Yeah, you look, what's Ice in Cube, the, what's please in don't call us drunk champs, please. Yeah, yeah, he called us drunk champs. <laughs> drink champs. You look like next? a candy cane that day. <laughs> I'm that? not going to lie to you. I was red? You were red and white. Uh, man, all together. I was like, Man, let me tell shit. you, man. NWA, the death certificate, <laughs> the, the predator. <laughs> like, Ice Cube's a man. Yes, he is. And we still respect him. Okay. What you got? LL Cool J. No, no, no. Hold on. My bad. I'll skip it. Tyson or Ali? Who? Tyson, Mike Tyson, or Muhammad Ali? What? Why Newark all just came out of you right now? <laughs> Every everything about Newark and Clinton Avenue. So and everything. listen, 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 listen. Bergen Street. Yeah, Bergen. So you, 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 what's the reference? You just throw we, the names out. No reference. You just got. You guys you just got to take a Tyson shot. Tyson or while. Ali? Tyson or Ali? Ali. Oh, Ali. Nothing to talk yeah, about. Yeah, man. Nothing to talk about. Okay. Ain't well, nobody ever gonna do it like Ali. Okay. You want the next one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> LL or Big Daddy Kane? I'm Daddy <laughs> What's your point? Get the, get the <laughs> shot. Get the shot ready. The point is, drink get the up. shot ready, sis. Yeah. He got oh. a drink. He got a shot. Uh, how, come, how come I'm the only one who keep drinking? I'm the only one empty over here. I don't know what you're doing with yourself. Yeah, God damn it. LL and Big Daddy Kane? No. Oh. You cannot... <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all some good shit about LL. Oh, you got something? Let's go. Let's go. Let's drink first. Yeah, you. Sh- Shoot it you down. gave us enough Todd stories. Way? Salute. No, he wants to give more Todd stories. But I'm in. I know. I would love another Todd. Story. And we don't call him Todd. Stop I it. Not, no, stop no. It. no you this did what, good. I'm this is what I'm gonna say to you, to real now, quick. We're it's sorry that we said Todd. For all the young cats in the game, probably under forty or thirty. LL and Big Daddy King will both take your bitch. Will steal your chick. Yes. To this day. To this day. If they wanted to. To this day. To Ty Smith and Big Daddy King, who I just talked to a couple of days ago. It's two things. It's two things in hip hop like that I fucking like relate to. Ladies love L Cool J, right? Mm-hmm. And Big Daddy Kane. What most cats don't know about Bill Bellamy, I came up as a dancer before I became a comedian. And so what's crazy about LL Cool J and Big Daddy Kane, because they're like a hybrid of me. Mm. So you're saying that's it wasn't pretty, for you, it would not be no yeah, LL. Are you kidding me pretty in hip hop? Uh. So you gotta understand LL Cool J was a cool cat that talked about the game that ladies liked. Ladies loved it. Ladies love LL Cool J. Right. His lips was never dry. He always licked his lips. I liked how you licked your lips. You, know, you, you saw you that. that. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's like cool shit. Mm. But the dope shit about Big Daddy Kane, and I'm going to give him his flaw, was like, Kane was a chocolate cat that could dance huh. and talk that shit and, and his be. This was already moisturized. Already. It was already moisturized. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I went too so, far. So, uh. so, so be like, to leave, to, to, shit. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be <laughs> no filters, perfectly honest. Mm-hmm. L.O. Cool J, Big Daddy Kane. Influenced me as a comedian because they was rappers, right? Like, like cats don't the coolest cat, motherfuckers ever. Listen, listen, way. listen. They rappers and they doing it in a fly way. So you gotta understand, like cats don't know as comedians how to do what they do, right? So I'm watching because I told Kane a couple weeks ago. I was like, Kane, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. You. Was to me 
the coolest cat I ever seen. Right. Like from Jersey looking at a New York cat with that kind of swag in the in the game and you was committed to the to the essence of who you are. He was you, a smooth operator. Is it? He was a smooth Nori, operator. Nori, am I lying? He, he, is, is, he is the smooth operator. This is the top. I promise, I don't promise don't. you. He wasn't was, he is. Is. Okay. He still Cut is. to LL Cool J, Papa Lover. Baby, listen. Oh, I knocked the show. Listen. So, me and LL Cool J been friends keep on, keep on. Okay. for like <laughs> 30 years. And I'm going to say this to the, the culture and to the game. LL Cool J, Big Daddy Kane, and Eddie Murphy is, mm. is me. That's what you made into yourself? If you if you took if you if you had to if you had to take three elements of Bill Mel, Bill Bellamy if you had to take three elements of who Bill Bellamy is you take LL Cool J Big Daddy King and what was the third person I said What did you say Eddie Murphy, that's right. So if you took... Thank you, Diego. No, right, right. Listen to this. I'm going to tell you who Bill Bellamy is right now, because I know y'all going to use this on social media. It's Eddie Murphy, Big Daddy Kane, and L.O. Cool J. That's who Bill Bellamy is. So let me ask you this, though. When you did the movie with L.O., how did you feel about this is the person, one of the people that I'm influenced by? He didn't know it. But you knew it. I do. So what did that mean to you? So when I did Any Given Sunday with L.O. Cool J, I never told him. How much of an influence he was? Like, I hope he sees this interview and accepts what I'm about to say. And, and, like, this is the funny shit about Dream Champs and why Dream Champs is the shit, right? Mm -hmm. Because I can give my flowers to my friends. Please. Right. L.O. Cool J and Big Daddy King is Bill Bellamy. It's hybrid. So, like, if you were like, mm -hmm. oh, my God, what is Bill Bellamy? Like, who is this? Dude, Bill Bellamy. I'm a hybrid of. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you who I am right now in this interview. I am a hybrid of Big Daddy King, L. O. Cool J, Eddie Murphy. Um, what's my other one? So, boom, boom, Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. So. So you, if you say, what is Bill Bellamy? I'm a hybrid of hip-hop and classic comedy. So coming up in the game out the streets, LL Cool J made me feel that cool was fly. Right. Motherfucking Big Daddy Kane showed me we could have swag. Mm. All right? And then I look at Eddie Murphy so that I could be raw. And that's when you start snatching bitches' wigs off. Uh, Remember? You snatch you, you, no, 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 you, you was in you jail. Had, no, no, no. <laughs> no, they had, they, had, they had a show. He's so rugged. He was in jail at the time. No, no, no. At the time. You was no, in jail when I, I, I was in I seen a radio interview where you was like, I, I, this, this is no weave Tuesdays. Or what was it called? No. Nope. Um, no lace front Tuesday. No lace front. No lace front Fridays. How did this work out for you? Because I'm going to be honest. What air was this at? Because no lace front Fridays is not working 2023. Oh, that they are going to me to you. God. Because you said you was running on lace, taking lace fronts out. I said. No, no. I did it. I, like, I was doing this joint about like, uh, Nori, you, you, on your, you on your A game. I'm sorry. So, I, I've been studying. So I was, I was talking about lace fronts because lace fronts... It's it's cute, but sexy it's, for some people. It's, it's, it's temporary. Yeah, it's very temporary. <laughs> Cause that lace front will come off. <laughs> we seen the interview. We ain't seen the interview. I gotta go pee pee. You got again? Go ahead, go ahead, go. Ahead. And we gonna end this out.
Oh, and then and, and, and it drops and and then you good.